another episode of Speed Runs from the Crypt, your bi-weekly horror hotfix. Hope you're all doing good and hope you're all doing well. So, for this week, uh, it's kind of a weird week, because originally I was going to have on Super Ghouls and Ghost uh, last episode, about two weeks ago. However, that fell through. So, to kind of match that, I figured, why don't we uh, pick some notoriously difficult games? Games either I just know that were hard for a lot of people in their childhoods, or just games in general that uh, are pretty difficult. So today's episode is focusing around a lot of difficult games, but the speedruns may vary in that case. Uh, anyway, to open things up, I'm going to be having one of my personal favorite games on this list. We're going to be having Zombies Ate My Neighbors with Teddy Rass. Take it away. Zam. Let's just get into it right away. Three, two, one, Zambi. Yeah, we got like, what, like 50 levels or something of Zambos to get through. There's and uh, most of the neighbors will not survive. Oops, what am I squirting? What am I doing? <laughs> Take it easy. You've got to do what the game title says, because, like, why not? Makes it go faster. He's going to eat those guys for me? There we go, nice. And explode the baby, because we did it, hooray. Okay, this is like an arcade style uh, little horror game from the, the SNES. Or it's more like an homage to like uh, classic horror movies, mainly, I guess. Explode, thank you, and you too. Cheerleaders are immune to getting killed in midair for some reason, because I don't know. <laughs> There's a Z axis of this game for some reason. Don't know why they did that. <laughs> yeah, I think this is like the shortest level in the game now, I want to say. Just grab this guy and I'm out. See you, buddy. <laughs> Get out of here, near. There's, a, I think there's another level that's like pretty similarly short later on too, but they're, they're all over the place in how long they are. You're gonna see some of these locations repeated from time to time, but it's mostly just like I think there's like a good like I don't know, 15 or so different places to go to. Here's our first mall level, or, like, shopping zone, whatever it is. The other thing, too, is that, like, uh, I only have three lives, and if I run out of lives, game's over. This is kind of a risky run for a marathon, too, because there's, like, a soft lock at one point later on, too, which I gotta be worried about, and if it comes up, uh, that's it. <laughs> Game explodes, can't do nothing about it. I got this big rocket launcher that has like a ton of knockback. I'm gonna try to put my butt to a wall so it doesn't like send me back too far, so I can just keep going forward. And why do the dog people have souls? I don't know. That's a, that's a big question that comes every time this game shows up. It's like, why did that dog have a human soul? <laughs> Who knows? Maybe it's a guy in a suit? I don't know. Maybe all dogs go to heaven? Who knows? Boing. Okay, what's the next level? I always forget. I always forget, like, every time I run this game, I always forget that the level is, it comes up until, like, it, it literally ends on my screen. <laughs> There's so many different ones. Some of them come, like, like I don't know, every 10 seconds at one point. <laughs> Explode the mummy. There we go. I'm going to get safety uh, Pandora's boxes here. I got a strike where I can beat a baby with, like, rockets alone, but that's why I'm going for PBs and stuff. I need to, like, explode them with... I don't know, the Pharaoh's Curse? I don't know who's even here. The Curse of Ra? I don't know, I don't know what's in these boxes. Just gold boxes that are unleashed. Free damage or something, I don't know. Oh, where am I going? Here we go. There's a secret thing in here. There we go. It was the fir uh, not first aid kit. What do you call this thing? A first aid kit, but for fires. What am I talking about? Uh, fire extinguisher. <laughs> That's what it was. So I'm trying not to kill too many enemies. I have to worry about points until, like, I don't know, level 30 or something? 36, somewhere around there. I remember the bosses. If I get too much too early, it's going to make me lose, like, a whole minute or something. It sucks. Getting nothing from these trash cans. Trash cans are just pure random drops. Or, so I think it's, like, based on what frame you pick up the thing from it from. 
explode the base. Oh, nope. I really got him with all three of these uh, Pandora boxes I was practicing earlier. Yeah, oh, actually we did. Okay, what do you know? There we go. Good. Get hecked, baby. <laughs> these babies are hopped up on, I don't know, some kind of crazy sugar or something. I think they're like the fastest enemy in this game, like bar none, I want to say. <laughs> they're really scary. I think they like stomp you for like two bars of health or something every time. And explode. Gotta get some secret health. I'm gonna need like every random health kit I can find, except for the one up there because it cost me a couple keys. I need this guy to explode, hold up. Oh come on, he got me but not him? Kill him, thank you. Yeah, less neighbors there are, the, the better. I can go faster if I only have to rescue one. Well, this game's a lot harder if they rescue, like, every single neighbor. There's, like, ten to level or something normally. But, uh, if you kill, like, most of them except for one, then you're good for a while. They don't, like, respawn them all every level. So we're doing pretty good. Three health kits? Where'd that... The weird little dolls go in there, whatever. I guess I despawned them or something, I don't know. <laughs> Not my problem. Explode and explode. These dolls are... Oh my god. <laughs> I was gonna kill that guy for a sec. Jeez. These dolls are, like, super fast, deceptively, and they got, like, a ranged attack somehow. <laughs> they never hit that guy, but I'm always scared they will, and it'll instantly end my run at level 10, but... Who knows? This game's got, like, a password system, but, like, it won't replenish my items. I'll, I'll start with, like, just a squirt gun, so I can't, if I die, it's over. Wait, we have uh, the cheerleader level next. I need to have my speed shoes on. It's like the speed run item. Like, literally. Where's it at? Go. Do, do a fast. Wait, I need to have this out. And there's a thing I gotta blow up. More shoe. And explode. And grab cheerleader. I don't know if I need that key. I'm just grabbing it anyway. I think I gotta have it. The aliens aren't too big a deal. They look all scary and they're like really fast. I don't know. They got like good cardio or some shit. They like uh, can really just run around. But uh, all they can do is like slow you down. Their, their attack can't kill neighbors. It just puts them in like a bubble and you're fine. Just like grab them out of it. It's not a big deal. More of the annoying doll. Oh my god. Explode the wall. Thank you. I can worry about these neighbors getting killed here when I go get this. No, okay. Went for me. Good. See ya. There's a few chances where, like, sometimes depending on the enemy's AI behavior, it'll just decide it wants to kill neighbors. I think there's, like, only two in the whole run where if it wants to kill the neighbor, I can't do anything about it. But I can do something about it sometimes. I'm just, like, quick reaction time. Like, I, I, like that last guy in the last level could, like, just walk straight up and kill that group. Yeah, the tourists, whatever they are. It's a good thing he did it. Because otherwise, run instant over if the last guy dies. Just get... It doesn't matter how many lives you have, just instant gamer screen. Okay, well, that sucks. I think I needed this out. I don't know. I'm just going to do this. <laughs> All right, this is, uh, this is this part. I'm going to do a thing where I'm going to boost and save, like, more time. Less time that I just lost there by, like, switching forever in front of the exit gate. <laughs> I just want to do this. I just want to explode to the right. Boom, there we go. I saved, like, half a second. <laughs> Worth. Wait, I need the shoes out for later. It's fine. Yeah, I'm gonna be grabbing a bunch of skeleton keys when I can. It's like the big rare item I, I want to get. So I need that to get past certain gates. It's the only way past like those gates at all. And the missile launcher. There we go. If I get really, 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 really lucky, I can get a skeleton key from a like a random drop, like from a trash can or a, a cabinet or a chest or something. But th those, like, never happen unless... There's, like, a manipulation you can do that's, like, frame-perfect on, a, like, the first chest if you want to. Don't take my... These ants can steal things, by the way. They're rude. You can take that if I don't get it fast enough. Yeah, I don't go for that because it sucks. I don't want to do frame-perfect stuff. Yeah, technically getting, like, good luck at the trash can is a frame-perfect trick if you get, like, the skeleton key. 
It, it can save me a lot of time because every, almost everything we do in these levels isn't just me leaving instantly and get out of my way. Get frozen. <laughs> I'm just gonna try to get skeleton keys in the most part. Except for a level like this where like they put them so far away from me, the only neighbor that spawned in. <laughs> oh well. Okay, here we go. I, I need to like, this is a short level and I gotta like prep my next level after this. Go away, bad zombie. Okay, you touched me. Whatever. Bad luck. I need the blue juice. I need a missile launcher. We're good. I think this is like one of the only office levels we see. I think there's like these sprites show up in other levels, but we don't ever go near them in the rest of the game. I don't I want to say. Actually, I think they only show up in like the last level where, where, during the credits. There's a cre This game is a credit level. It doesn't have like, here's some words on your screen. It's just like, yeah, go talk to everybody. Figure it out on your own. <laughs> it's kind of cool. But also it kind of sucks with the run because... Like, I've died there before. <laughs> like, and, like getting your run killed by, like, the very last... During the credits is really weird. Credit level baby. also the scariest name. Yeah, it does. We'll get there when we get there. Uh... Here we go. I gotta do some schmoovin'. But that was my health kit. Okay, very nice. Thank you. <laughs> Cool, I thought I swapped onto the thing, but uh, fuck, whatever, it's fine. <laughs> Yeesh. Goodbye safety health, I don't need anyway. <laughs> like, there's literally health right here. You could get free burgers for health, but whatever. My health food, no. <laughs> anyway, here's like, I think our second boss, or boss like i think they're ten the enemies you fought are to like mini bosses i think technically get out from under me i don't want you to oh my god <laughs> this is really bad uh snake oil luck there we go that's better should be dead there we go if they hit you they regen health should be dead there we go cool yeah, i gotta kill him because i got uh skeleton keys there we go I think I'm gonna check the piles because, like, I think these all drop random items mostly. Well, I mean, there is one thing I don't care about it. Mostly just need skeleton keys. I can just leave if I get a skeleton key, I think. Or. I, that was one off. That was one frame off. Damn, whatever. <laughs> like, you can tell until, like, I get the item out. Like, there, there's no way to know. There's, like, no way a human can know, like, what the items. Oh my god, please die. There we go. <laughs> that take, like, four shots. I got, like, three doubles on him and he didn't die. There's, like, no way a person's gonna know what's in there until you actually open the chest. I guess except for the first one, that's why you can, like, get a skeleton key there, but no. Well. It's time to hold straight up for a while. Oh god, yeah, that's what the Martians do. They just put you in jail for a second. Dodgeball prison. Surprise tool will help us later. Oh my god. Wait, did I get rid of that guy? Good. Oh, come on. Oh! Okay, that's one of the chances where that guy can get killed. Uh, those weird goopy monsters are, like, the least threatening thing in the entire game, unless they decide they want to run straight into a neighbor. Like, their contact damage is instant kill, but if they, like, shoot, like, a little goop thing in the air, like, and it lands a neighbor's head like we did earlier at the... What's his face? That scientist or whatever he is. Explorer? I don't know he is. Guy from that, uh, level after the baby. Like, they won't die until I leave the screen, so... They're, like, the opposite of a big deal if they're just, like, nowhere near them. But they're standing next to them. It's a bad time. And by the way, if I touched that question mark block from, like, a second ago, I would have, like, made the run very hard for me, because it makes me go to a bonus level, and... I think that bonus level's full of giant babies or something, so that would have caused me a lot of problems. Every time you kill a giant baby, it spawns a neighbor, and also, it takes a lot of ammo to kill them. So, uh, it's been bad. I still don't remember what each level is until I get there. Like, okay, what's level 23? Which one's this one? Just memorize 48 levels. It's easy, though. Oh, yeah, this one. Okay, this is another level where the goop monster can kill that guy. I'm gonna be careful here. I think I want to just have... Yeah, we're gonna... Murder this mummy or something. Explode, thank you. Oh, whatever. I need to have... He's nowhere near him. Good. Okay, cool. If that guy just goes straight up, he can kill him before I can do anything about it. I think it's like the only neighbor or like one of them that... 
He can instantly end my run if he wants to. It's rare, but like... There's no defense. You just explode. What's this one? Oh, yeah. Uh, we're blowing up walls. Or I'm going to miss it. Whatever. It's fine. I got plenty of extra missiles. Uh, I think here. And then, yeah, explode. Cool. No, I went through the wrong one. Whatever. It's fine. I got plenty of missiles. It's okay. There we go. Oh, oh my God. Ow. Nice diagonal, buddy. Yeah, cool. I'm out of here. All right. If you go down the wrong hallway in this room, by the way, you can just kill her. Like, that, those guys will spawn early and just, like, slap her the hatchet. They attack, like, oh my god, those hatchet swings are so fast. I think here's the next giant baby. We're not gonna kill this one, we're just gonna ignore him, but he's gonna stomp on me and hurt me. He's gonna hurt my feelings. Or he's nowhere in sight. Oh, no, there he is. <laughs> There's the freaking drive-by baby. I can't move. It, like, stuns you, too. It sucks. Okay, they didn't steal my missiles. That's nice. They have extra safety missiles and stuff. Yeah, thank you. Wait, no, I want to explode them up. There we go. That's what that... that it just instantly kills ants, because I think their sprite's too big to fit inside the ball, so they're just like, eh, whatever. <laughs> Blow them up. I need safety burgers. Mm, delicious. Life rejuvenating hamburgers. My favorite. I think aliens did it. I don't know what the ba I don't know how the baby's origin story is. Something like that. Oh, I need not this. I need to have no. Where is my lawnmower? There we go. <laughs> my lawnmower. That's just like a saw blade on a stick. The lawn killer nine thousand or something. All right, here we go. This is a level called about werewolves or whatever, but we're not going to see any. We're just going to leave. Werewolves are scary. I don't want to deal with them. Go away. Did that was that too high? No, it was perfect. Nice. And then we go there. They go fast, and they don't, we don't even hear the werewolf valve. You just get to leave. Yeah, there's a few bonus levels, but like we're only doing the like the basic 48. I need to have my speed shoe on. Like now, there we go. Am I gonna run into the spikes? Oh no, I, I suck. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm gonna get my feet stabbed a little bit. Oh, never mind. Okay, well, I didn't get stabbed by that one. Nice. Give me that. Oh, I need to get the clowns out and then. Give my clown. Oh, my, I ran into a wall. Very sick. Give me this. Give me my cross. Okay, let's see if these chests that always give me nothing give me nothing here. They gave me a key. That was one off of a second skeleton key again. I'm really good at getting normal keys. Okay, so like, uh, what was it? Like, the way the drop tail works, like, the, the regular key is one frame past the, uh, whatchamacallit, the skeleton key. So if I'm off by a little bit, I just get that. Oh, I think I got a little too much money. That's fine. Also, yeah, vampires love clowns. It's, it's their favorite thing, so... If I just drop some clowns, they're just like, hell yeah, it's clown time, <laughs> and then they leave this neighbor alone. If I don't do that, though, they will, uh, kill the neighbor right away. I may have grabbed a little too many points on that level, so, uh... Might be a problem in a bit. Oh well, might have to like get the extra neighbor. It's fine. I'm just gonna punch walls about it. Like there's two ways to beat this level. Number one is do this. Number two is you get a missile launcher and fire the missile launcher up like ten times in a row or something. It's kind of goofy. I like saving missiles for stuff. I don't need to check that one. Right. Just gonna be in the sky when I get here, which sucks, but whatever. It's how it is. Here's another level that's scary for me, but will probably look like nothing. There's a chance, like a small spider will spawn next to this neighbor and like kill her really fast because the spiders are very quick unless I do a thing here, which is I'm going to despawn it. Okay, or we didn't get the despawn. Hmm. Yo, that's sick. <laughs> Great stuff. Don't know how that happens sometimes, but whatever. Uh, are we starting over, or are we just gonna go to the next one? <laughs> sometimes it'd be like that. Paging Ek. I'm gonna- I'm just gonna go, whatever. 
I was like uh, halfway through the run, so that kind of sucks. <laughs> it does happen. Um, go for it now, and let me ask. Is they were a bit behind, so I don't really mind. I'll catch you guys up, I guess, for free. <laughs> is what it is. Uh, yeah, prefer to play right now. Let's see. Get in here. Kill this baby again. I think I didn't go low enough by like a couple pixels or something, so it didn't actually despawn the spider, which is really weird. It's not really, really easy. You just go down by the wall and you go up to the couch and it's gone, but all right. Explode, thank you. <laughs> yeah, you can't password, that's why. <laughs> I have to either run this on emulator or like, because I'm running this on hardware right now. If I ran on an emu, I could just like, you know, make saves with the emulator, but ain't doing that. I think we're going to go over estimate now if we do keep the run going. <laughs> so I got about like, I don't know. Like maybe like, it's a pretty generous estimate. It's like eight minutes, but like, I'd have to die one of the early things, I think. Boom. Yeah, like, this is a low-tech game. Like, this, I don't think the SNES even has, like, memory cards or anything. So, like... Yeah, it, it's a password system. It just spawns you in the level. It doesn't, like, give you anything. Which is why this run's kind of rough if you play on hardware. Yeah. Well, I've been nailing these diagonal shots, at least. I hate the frickin' doll life. <laughs> they're so evil, and they're so fast, and they break my shins. Hmm. Alright. Why not? Yeah, normally try not to take that level slow because I think sometimes I go slower there and then they'll just die right away, so I have to like try to do that a little fast. Usually or the spider will be there and they'll kill a neighbor. It's very quick. That's why I need to get rid of that thing if I can to the despawn, because it's uh real schnasty. Oh, I restarted the run because I freaking died. That's, you won't get a second chance at this one. <laughs> or, sorry, no, the last neighbor died. Like, I have three lives, but they don't matter. The neighbors have only one life each. So that actually so reminds yeah. me. Um, years ago, I got... got when what, Was it 2019 at this point? Uh, I think when you ran it, uh, a shitty queue. Yeah, I don't remember. It was, like, somewhere around there. Many moons ago. But uh, one of the cool things that we actually had been having to do was... Um, I, I had it on my own end, but uh, it was this device that was like a cart that you can um, put into certain, uh, I guess, into SNES games, and then it would act as like a sa one save state. So it was yeah, neat. I think it's pretty useful for this game. Yeah, uh, the game can be rough though, so Whoop. as long as it doesn't die again, we should be fine. If it dies again, it's it's over. Pretty much. Baby did not go down to three of these. It's unfortunate. Maybe get over here. There we go. Uh, explode. There we go. Cool. It's close though. This game's got a lot of random luck to it. Like how much damage you do with the missiles, I think, is like luck based. I want to say because sometimes you can kill like a worm in like one shot if you're extremely lucky, or usually like two. Sometimes it takes like five double hits on it. Yeah, like, the missile does two damage hits. Like, if you're close enough, you get, like, I don't know, like, the blowback or something from the, like, in front of the thing will do, like, an extra damage. And then, like, the, the actual, like, bullet will do, like, damage to you on top of that. So that's, like, a whole thing of luck there in its own. And, like, I don't know, like, 
stuff, stuff spawning out of the chest and stuff too. Where's I need to listen for this one? Oh, never mind. Well, I'm just gonna hit anyway. Whatever. <laughs> Rip three health. Ow. But yeah, like if you run out of neighbors, you just instantly lose the game. Part of this game's kind of hard. <laughs> They matter more than your HP. He's like, yeah, I can afford to die like two times. Actually, no, three times, I think. And then the final one actually killed me. Do you need this out? Cool. No, grab him. There's like 50 million guys spawning in here. There we go. The doll gang just comes in trying to freaking jump me with like their hatchets and stuff. They're hidden. It's getting to be mean, like, sometimes, like, just, like, a couple moments makes it all the difference in the world. Like, there, for instance. Let me heal. Alright. If you're too slow grabbing that guy, they can just, like, all spawn in and kill him in, like, no seconds at all. <laughs> as soon as they're spawned. These things are schnasty. They've ran this, like, a bunch of different events over the years, and, like... I still don't know what exactly, like, the percentage of runs completed or runs that have died to something random that's never happened before a bunch, because, like, it, it always happens a lot. Uh, I think it's, like, maybe 70% completion versus 30%. Oops, the game exploded. <laughs> Where, oh, my God, don't push me away from her. I need her. Here we go. I'm just going to leave. I don't think I've ever lost to a marathon of that spider despawn before, but I've lost to other stuff, like, there's a soldier in this ant level later in the game that killed me randomly once. I don't know why that happened either. It was like a death that never happened before. Uh, I think the most common thing is I lost runs to the... There's a soft lock on the the Dr. Tongue boss where the neighbor just disappears. Like It's just straight up the neighbor will just vanish, and I don't know why. I don't think anyone knows why or how to prevent it. It's just one of those things. Here we go. Do not... Do not... Okay, he's not near him. Cool. They will get there when we get there if we get there, I guess. Also, the way this I, is going, uh, but geez. I do want to mention as well, while I guess it's look on the bright side of things, uh, today is dedicated to difficult speed runs. Yeah, sure. I mean... Proving it here, I guess. Yeah, um, the amount of fa like fails that can happen in this game are just kind of wild, because every, like that level right there that we just uh, happened on the screen for the, uh, the GQ side, um, I think it was the, uh, the grocery store one, that one has, I mean, zombie spawn with a blue potion, uh, even the one with the skeleton hallway has the guy at the very end. Uh, you mentioned the, the ant military guy, the softlock, the spider despawn we're trying to do. Oh, I don't have it. Oh, shit. Alright, no, keep going. Like, there's just so many that just are one-shot kills. Uh, I, even the, the one where you mentioned, I think it's like level 27, the werewolf one with no werewolves. Or either that or the one that get go left, I just had the neighbor randomly die. I don't know why. They just, you get hit too much, they just die. Never seen that one. Yeah, it's if you don't get the. Like everyone has their own like early, unique. Death. I don't know why it is. It's so weird. Yeah, sometimes neighbors just explode. Nobody knows. They, they just kind of did that. It Nobody just knows why. happens. Their head just kind of did that. I don't know, man. <laughs> oh, hey, I actually saw a comment in chat as well. We can talk about while we uh, bring things back up to speed. Uh, someone mentioned the Genesis version of this game, and uh, you might be wondering, hey, what version do we want to run on? Uh, SNES. Uh, the main reason is because the SNES version had an exclusive weapon, the flamethrower, around like level 22, I think. So it's just way yeah, too I think it's good not up. to have. Yeah. And you got the key for that earlier, which is in the bottom left. Uh, the upside of the Genesis version is that you get a free key because you're not using it for the flamethrower, but, I mean, you don't get the flamethrower, which is... Uh, be good. Is that door glitch in uh, the Genesis version where you use like the lawnmower in the door? I don't actually know. I, yeah, I don't know that either. Because like maybe we get the free key back there. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, where am I going? <laughs> Let me pay attention. Oh my god. We'll rip the, whatever key I just used. Doesn't matter. Like there's more than one way to open a door in this game, and it's like blow the, the door up, lol. <laughs> like. Do we need a key to open this door? No, just use a missile. It doesn't matter. <laughs> or punch it down with the, the monster power. 
Doors can't stop me. I like, guess we're like, keys are like worth like a ton in the beginning of this run because you don't have a ton of missiles or anything else. But like the further in the run you get, the less keys become valuable. I think, I think around this part, just keys don't matter at all, I want to say. Like you need a few, like you kinda, you're just going to kind of expect to have them in like your inventory randomly just because you're going to open doors by running them into them in your face a lot of the time. These are very specific ones. Hang on, I need my shoe. There we go. Yeah, like early game, you're like, oh, I gotta make sure I have enough keys. I gotta grab every key. Then like late game, you're just like, I don't even care. <laughs> like a whole key ring full of them. You're just like, doesn't matter. I don't need any of these. Burger, yum. Yeah, that's a ghost potion or something. Let's you just walk on water, which makes it, like you're invincible too at the same time. I think this is during the screen. I'll use that to like uh, just deal with water because. Water levels, like, swimming is slow. Just walking in the water is way faster. Should be dead, right? No, he, he lived. What the hell? Yeah, there's a water level later, especially, like, it's really rough, where if you don't have enough movement speed, you will just lose the neighbor because you can't swim Oops. faster than the sea monsters, so. Yeah. I've never had him get lost, though. Also, I guess going That's with the, the ones finer, where um, never to be. Some of the finer details of the run, uh, we haven't, I, I don't know if we talked about it, but the, um... The Graboids, the giant worms, a lot of people mention that as a kid. Oh, I had trouble beating this boss. You did, because those bosses are uh, vampires. Um, they have vampires, and they regenerate health. Every time they hit you, they get their health back. Ow. These so, balls are um, killing me. That's one of the things you can get. <laughs> yeah. Um, but going into that, uh, when Teddy's fighting oh, these, uh, these worms, he's making sure to get a bunch of the rockets underneath, because they're clipping through the body and just doing a lot of damage. But the longer the fight goes, there the worse go. it gets. It's one of those fights. If it seemed hard, it was. It was. It was ridiculously hard. Yeah, they got life steal. I'm not sure how much they heal, but like, it's a sizable annoying. amount. I think. Either way, uh, any enemy in this game having life steal is uh, a lot more than you would expect. They I love really this level too, uh, when the uh, aliens can randomly just ram into your guy. Yeah. They're just explicitly faster than me unless I'm using the shoes. I and mean, also the neighbor uh, here too. Although it's usually they don't do anything to them. Yeah, just usually they prioritize the gun. That was Whoa. close. Oh Whoa. my god. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Let's not manifest it into existence right now, please. I, I'm going to be quiet about those. But, um... <laughs> Going into, as well, the one neighbor strategy. Because we talked about the one neighbor thing in chat and in general, but to really break it down, uh, normally to beat a level, you need to save every living neighbor, which you start off with 10. Uh, in the very beginning of the game, Teddy kills nine of the neighbors, so then we'll have to save one of the neighbors. Um, the game doesn't really account entirely for this, so it's like, oh, we'll put them mostly, like, in arbitrary places. Um, some levels have very predetermined spots, which are where they kind of are expecting you to end the level. Um, this is to make sure you can't do massive boss skips because, oh, we want to make sure our players fight the boss. So when you have a boss level, it goes to the root neighbor, which is number one, which is always the same position. So instead of having to save ten neighbors every time, we just save the one neighbor, that's the living neighbor, and then we're out. But if that neighbor dies, then the whole run dies, because that's a game over thing, and you can't really get back neighbors from zero. But you can get, if you have one, you can get two, which actually happens during the run. It's going to happen at a few points. Yeah. Which you already did with the baby earlier. Please go away now. Stay away from my guy. There we go. Cool. He got gooped, but who cares? Getting gooped doesn't matter. Oh no, you got gooped. Whatever, man. Everyone gets gooped. It doesn't matter. Like, I think you only die from goop if you leave the screen or something. Yeah. It takes a lot to get them killed. Where'd my missile launcher go? There we go. It's this one. I forgot last time where it was, but it's whatever. Yeah, I definitely say when uh, when running this game, a lot of people find out really quickly. It's, oh, you that can kill the neighbor. Oh, that can kill the neighbor. And you find new ones all the time when doing it. Like this level right here that just got beaten, uh, that has one. Um, if you stay too far on the right side of the screen, the Chucky dolls spawn earlier and they kill the neighbor. 
This game's really evil because they can just kill enemies off screen. Like, if they're just a little bit off your screen. That's why I, I never why wanted to run so uh, 100%. Uh, you quite literally just have to make sure that you don't lose any of the 500 or so neighbors in the game. Oh. Oh, no, I have the weapon out. I'm being down there. There we go. I need that. Okay, cool. I need to ditch my ammo too. I forgot. There, it's fine. <laughs> it's good being alive. Hey, I have all my health too. Nice. You know, we just did this a minute ago. Like, I don't remember where we are right now. <laughs> what level is this? Oh, yeah, this is uh, the one I need the thing. Yeah, the lawnmower out. Whatever, it's fine. <laughs> lawnmower. Oh, there we go. Perfect. I wonder if I don't remember this level. This level's like two seconds long. Like, quite literally. <laughs> This is a level where, like, they give you, like, a couple, like, seconds or something, then the werewolf spawns, but we're just gonna leave before then. Yeah, okay, so this is where, right where we were last time when we got, uh, exploded. Pretty nearly. I think I'm gonna wait till like. Oh, hang on. I need, I'm, I'm past my shoe. There we go. I'm gonna get spiked this time at least. There we go. <laughs> That's fine. That one you always get spiked on. Give me cross. Where am I going? Thank you. <laughs> get me out of here. Don't spike me. There we go. Good. <laughs> mean chest. You got anything for me? Oh, they got me a regular key, but. I've gotten, like, I swear, like, half a dozen regular keys over this run so far, which means I've gotten one frame off of the skeleton key, like, half a dozen times. This game so, it just taunts me, I swear. That's, that's probably good on points. I found that clown, I'm out of here. I'm gonna go chug this friggin' juice. And then punch 30 walls in a row. Okay. Let's make sure we despawn that spider in a second because god, that thing is so fast. I've had that spider not despawn to manage not it doesn't manage to not kill a neighbor a few times, but it's kind of rare. The weird part about it is before we had the despawn strat, we literally would go all the way around the map so he would just spawn late. I didn't know about that. Yeah, it was like the really old strat before, uh, I think I was like right before you got into it. Um, runners would just um, go all the way around. Hmm. It wasn't until I think Make we sure found I go all that, the way down um, and then all the way up. I was going to say, hey, GG. Um, I think right, cool. it, you went. specifically may have found the task for that. It was, we, uh, we found like three oh, did I get task that from runs. The task? I think so, yeah. Because I found the task right, run that was the ridiculous RNG. Uh, then you found one that was like, oh, here's what a human being can do. Because yeah, I remember looking at like task rats when I first learned this game. Found some cool. It's been forever. I was like, I was like 2018 or something. That was like when I first started streaming. It's a fun. It's like one time. of my first speed games, I think. All right, so now we're in uncharted territory. Not really, but it's still. I'm sure we haven't seen yet today. Yes. I need to kill Ant. Actually, I need to run away from Ant. Give me that scale monkey. It's what I came here for. Like, come on. And this one. I need to try not to get poked by cactuses too much. I've seen the task get through without getting poked by a single cactus, but I think there's like some sub sub pixel shenanigans going on with like some of them. I think like one of them you have to get like poked by. I think no matter what. I'm like, why they spawn so many ants? What did I do? Did I like spill a coke somewhere? I never, what what happened here? I don't understand. <laughs> get out of my way. I don't normally get this many ants. You stole my key. Whatever, I don't need that anyway, but like, they just steal stuff. They're rude. Ditch like all the all the juice out of this thing. 
Yeah, the way inventory works in this game, you just press like the, the B button or the A button and it swaps inventory one at a time. So I'm gonna get I'm gonna get that down to as little items as possible. I'm at the point where I need to start getting rid of items I don't need anymore, which will be this fire extinguisher. I need to like hit this one guy in front of me and then we're done. Yeah, here. <laughs> then I get, need to get rid of these two because I don't need too many later. Maybe like a dozen or something for the people coming up with the ants. Is this the... No, I think we get one level, then the boss level. There's the boss prep level. Yeah, it's, here, here we go. This is uh, the warehouse. The bunch of chainsaw dudes. I, I think we've seen like a couple of them for like a second earlier, but there weren't like a ton. It's like the first level that features them. Like, there was like one all the way in level four or something, but it didn't matter at all. I'm going to hug the top wall. That makes a guy break a wall for me, which is really nice. And, whoops, that's fine. This guy, except he's hanging around me for some reason. That's weird. <laughs> Whatever. That wall's normally not broken, but he, like, I don't know, goes through that for some reason. Otherwise, that guy will stick around the tree later and, like, do a bunch of chainsaw spins and stuff. <laughs> These guys know spin attack, and I don't know why. That's, like, their favorite move. <laughs> Real goofy guys. I need flamethrower, and I need red potion. Let me find red potion. There we go. This is like a boss prep level. Like, I can just do whatever here. <laughs> like, it's such an easy level. I think I died here once during, like, a random, like, run, I think, on stream, like, ages ago. I still don't know how that happened. I think I just, like, got caught on, like, a random thing and wasn't paying attention. <laughs> caught on a random pixel and then, oops. Okay, here's the level with the soft lock. A neighbor can just despawn randomly, and I don't know what causes it. There's only one neighbor in here. I, th I, I my best guess is that like we hit like a sprite limit or something with because this boss will spawn a bunch of small webs. Like th those those spi those are the spiders by the way. They might kill the neighbor earlier. Uh, they're really fast. Like they are very skittery and fast. They made them too messed up. This one is still chasing me. What the hell? <laughs> it's gonna follow me to the boss room. That's really weird and mean. Get out of my way. Another uh, weird thing to mention really quick is you may have noticed there is a point score oh on the top left. Uh, Teddy's been trying to maintain a very precise score because that will allow him to spawn a neighbor in the proper level. Ideally, you want it in two levels, not the next level. But we shall see because it oh really varies. Yeah, I need to get my points under 40k. But she, he also spawns like little spiders and fight me too. And I'll, if I kill those, I get points from killing them. Oh my god, please get near me. This fight's taking a while. He's like, I'm really getting his bad luck. I need to like try to despawn some of these. Do not disappear, the neighbor. We're good. Okay, the neighbor did not despawn. We're safe. Like their dot would instantly disappear from the radar. It would still say like zero or something, or it says one, but like you can't get them. They're just gone. That's the soft lock, but like that didn't happen this time. I don't think anyone knows why it happens either. It just, it's like just, just get lucky, lol. I don't know. <laughs> I think I spent like a lot of time trying to figure it out too. I was like, what if I do this? What if I do that? And then nothing ever like was consistent. So it's just like, uh, uh guess. I don't know. <laughs> pray. <laughs> Strategy is simply to pray. Pray they don't disappear <laughs> for no reason. Okay, here we go. I got the 40k points. So now I got an extra neighbor, which on that level, it's on the other side of the map, and it takes like an extra minute to get to them and get rid of them or grab them or something. I think I still grab things. They're in such a bad spot to kill. Like a dragon can go kill that baby, but like it tends to have a hard time getting to the baby for some reason. Dracula can't even kill this baby. What is he doing? Most embarrassing moment of his vampire career. They need to get these guys exploded by a, a green guy. Get him. Sometimes the green guys are really bad. They'll just like take swings at them and miss. Kind of funny. It's just like it's it's, it's, it's it's his first day at a squid monster school. Go easy on him. <laughs> He's trying his best. I don't know how they missed. They're, they're standing still, but is what it is. Get that. Where, where's my clowns? I need to distract him with a clown. Oh, I think I can skip this key, but like I'm gonna get it anyway. You know, after the other thing, I'm just gonna go through the normal way. There's a strat here. I can use the lawnmower to skip that skeleton key, but I'm like, let's just get the skeleton key. There we go. I'm out of here. If I mess that up, there's a chance I could softlog myself, too. 
But like I can use the lawnmower like plus a normal key and it lets me like break the door or something. It's really weird. It only works on like doors where you go from them from the upside from above. I didn't want to feel like every diary I'm like, we're not gonna risk that. We're just gonna take the slightly longer strat, whatever. <laughs> Yeah, another snake e exploded. <laughs> the sprite is so huge, by the way, the only one can be in the screen at a time. Like, the, this game likes to put, like, more than one snake one, like, against you a lot, and then it'll just... Uh, like, both come up one at a time, they gotta take turns. Kinda weird, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, clowns just attract enemies, they just love them. Specifically vampires, they just love clowns. It's their favorite guy. Huge clown fans. Where is my missiles? Oh god, I get rid I get rid of these uh silverware. Oh, I don't have a key, whatever. Like I said, it doesn't matter. At the end of the game, you're just like, oh yeah, I don't have a key, it doesn't matter. I just I got like 30 missiles, who cares? Blow them up. Uh I'm going back here, right? Am I getting lost? I'm getting lost, aren't I? Where am I? I need to go back up here. I'm, yeah, I'm getting lost. Cool. I'm supposed to go here. <laughs> I don't know how I got turned around there, but whatever. Doesn't matter. The, 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 like the enemy in this, the, the name, name of this level is like really far away. It's the baby all the way over here. He's probably fine. Actually, I should ditch this silverware. Oh my god! Stop putting me in prison. I did nothing wrong. There we go. Thing. Uh, one quick thing to mention there is you may have noticed Teddy grabbed a couple of plates. Uh, we found out that a while back, there's always a childhood legend that if you use a certain item against the final boss, it will do a ridiculous amount of damage. They were right. Apparently, it really is that effective, so we're going to use that. That was spikes. It's full of spikes. Also, apparently, if you wait here long enough, there's a werewolf, which I didn't know about until today. <laughs> just kind of like sitting here, just like goofing around. I was like, oh, okay, there's a werewolf. I need to get out of here. It's not bad enough. They have like... You know, literal spikes trying to kill you over the place. Oh my god, I want to get... Yeah, I'm just gonna go. You know, fix that later, it's fine. Okay, it's, it's just levels like, what if we had spikes everywhere? Wow, great level, thanks guys. Good stuff. I know you're like 40 levels deep, but you can come up with a better idea than that, right? Too late now. There's like a way to like take like, either like no damage or minimal damage. I don't remember what it was. You can, like, move a certain way and dodge them. or play. Like, you can also just run through them and probably, like, save the same amount of time. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I get plenty of health anyway. Where's my speed shoe? There we go. Need that skelly key. I'm gonna wait. Uh, ow! Frankenstein zapped me. One more health. I got more speed shoe? I don't know where to use that, but... Whatever, I got an extra speed shoe, sure. <laughs> that reminds me, uh, fun fact about the the lawnmower. Apparently it does the same damage as the extra weapon we got. The, uh, whatchamacallit. Does the same damage as the, the flamethrower, yeah. which is, yeah, the nuts weapon. The one that, like, kills the spider boss in two seconds. Can you get out of here? Where's my missile? Actually, I could have used the speed shoes. I was saving it for the final level. I'm gonna do two speed shoes in a row, but that's fine. Where is... I need, actually, we can get rid of these two. Where is my... I need to get rid of these two. There we go. Yeah, like, one of the things the task does is it uses the, the lawnmower and the speed shoe combined, because the task can get whatever it wants, because it knows where uh, the right frames to get items on. You switch the missile. So, like, they just use, like, a lawnmower plus speed shoe, and they can, like, track the boss where it's going, and it's, like, really messed up to watch. If you play this game, you're like, I want to do that. <laughs> how, how can I do this? The answer is you can't uh, cry about it. <laughs> I'm going to get gooed, maybe? Oh, no, we got to attack by that guy. It's fine. Getting gooed here is really bad because I can't do anything. I just got to sit here and wait for the goo to disappear so I can finally fire a missile. Get out of here. Yeah, we gotta go fight a bunch of what you call it, <clears throat> snakeoids in the the football zone, and then we get the final level, and that's nearly it. Oh, we get another speech here. I guess yeah, that's that's fine. 
Where, where is he? I need one to spawn. There we go. Explode. Oops, or hit me more, whatever. Oh my god. Let me get a damage off this bad. Please die. I have 300 missiles, so I'm probably fine, but... Oh my god, football. Okay, there's more than one on screen. You have to, like, try to keep track of which pile's which, because you can't tell which is which. They're the exact same sprites, so, like, whatever. I'm gonna use missiles, then you go fast now, which... Gonna be nice. Could use the speed shoe, but, like, nah. I like missile strat. Please push me the right way. Oh my god, I'm getting bullied? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> There's that. Now, final level. Uh, this boss is really good at killing you, but, like, I have all my lives, and I have, like, I think two health kits, so we're probably fine. Go. Go shoo. Need to rid of these. Do I have more? Yeah, I got plenty of these. Okay, cool. Go shoe too, the sequel to shoe. There you go, I got an extra health kit too. Whoops, it's fine. Need that first though, thank you, come on. This will help me, maybe the speed will help me, I'm not sure. If I even have it, so it's gone. <laughs> of course it is. I'm gonna do some Tass lawnmower strats here, but no, there's no way. Oh my god, please stay near me, I need you to be burned to death. Okay, there's a phase two to this fight now, so the, the more of these things it spawns, the more of the webs that make me move slow as heck. Uh, the worse this fight gets. Okay, go, all my health kits are gone, very nice. I can get rid of my lawnmower though, but like, it takes a hot second. Please don't spawn spiders when you die. Everyone listening, nobody spawns spiders when you uh, get destroyed by a uh, freaking flamethrower, it's not good. Don't do it. Yeah, out of here. Eh. I need to go side to side. Makes him explode faster. I don't know why he plays do more damage. I, it, it, I don't. It, it's weird. Before we do some discover this strat, you just use a uh, what you call it, the squirt gun. This weird freaking head that gets slowly more, more holes and junk in it. That's kind of spooky and scary or whatever. <laughs> Please stop bumping me. I need to. I'm gonna run out of plates. In all fairness, I too am afraid of getting plates too. Yeah, I'm also weak to that, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm weak to a lot of these things. Well, they have cans, uh, a silverware, flame, a rocket launcher. You know, I'm, res I'm resistant to the squirt gun, at least. Oh, that's holy water. That one won't get me, I'm pretty sure. That. That's actually why it does damage. Is there holy water yeah, in the gun? Yeah, apparently it's holy water squirt guns. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, I'm resistant to that, too. Okay, just making sure. Anyway, uh, the run is not done yet. We have this winner screen. It, le it lets you know how good you did. We have one more level left, and then after that time, we'll be going up. The yeah, weird thing with the speed run, too, is that every one of these numbers that goes up wastes, like, I don't know, a couple frames. So, like, I think every six enemies you kill is an extra second of time lost waiting on the screen, which is really weird. It's like, because, like, the weird point requirement earlier to, like, get under 40k by a certain level, then also, like not kill too many enemies, it makes it really weird to like try to like figure out how to save time in places. It's also, a lot of it's random too. So it's like, you just lose time here and you're like, oh, I'm on good pace, I'll be ahead by a couple seconds and get to the, you, like hit time in the credits, you're like, I, I'm in a PB, what the heck? <laughs> Why did that happen? Although I love this game having the, uh, oh hey, you killed zero, good job. <laughs> yep. Winner, you killed none of them. Like, this is a point-based game, so they expect you to kill, like, as many as possible, I think. I, I don't think I've ever killed up. a... I've never killed a werewolf or a, a vampire. I'm pretty sure. You're gonna need to press start here, and there we go. I don't even know how. I think... I assume they can get murdered, but, like, I've never tried. <laughs> They're really strong. Right. I don't think I've hey. killed a Frankenstein either. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Check, 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 yeah, last I have lost game. runs at this level. It, what's monsters among us? There are monsters and there are among us. I know, monsters are among us, yeah. yeah. It's Old actually Tony game developers. And runs over here. Anyway, Tony. Tony. Oh, this is the credit level. If you talk to those people, they're the like game developers that work in the game. They'll be like, hello, I'm Tony. I worked on uh, the sound or the programming or something. Ooh. Here's our guy. We're, ooh. Well, it is Halloween month, so it's fitting. Yeah. 
I think I'll make this really fast because we are a little bit over time here. Uh, Teddy, if anyone want to find you, where can they find you? Uh, Twitch.tv slash Teddy Rez. Get me out of here. I, need, I spent too much time here. That works. All right, up next, we're going to be set for our next game. It'll be really quick, hopefully for the break. We're going to be doing Super, I think it's Super Ghouls and Ghosts. Uh, we'll get the official title then. But uh, yeah, we'll be right back. All right, everyone. Welcome back from the break. Hope you are all doing good. Uh, we are back with many difficult horror games as we are exploring today. I guess a lot of them are also kind of retro horror, which is a weird area. People get into a lot of arguments, but I mean, there's a lot of different monstrosities. Last one was all horror movies. And the next one, I mean, it has the classic horror staple of Ghouls and Ghosts. Speaking of which, we're going to be having Super Ghouls and Ghosts by Telio One starting uh, now. Go ahead. Yo, what's up? Yeah, it's me. I'll tell you one. Uh, we're going to play Super Ghouls uh, here. Uh, we're also going to be playing on the professional difficulty. Uh, there's like four difficulties in this game. Uh, beginner, normal, expert, and pro. Uh, professional is just uh, the hardest one. So we're going to do that. we got plenty of time to talk about it. So we'll just get it, get it going. Uh, so I'm going to start in three, two, one, go. Yeah, this is uh, Super Ghouls. I'm gonna like really try my best here to get a dagger. Um, and then I'll go ahead and talk to things. Oh, that's not a dagger, that's fine. Uh, so on the beginning of that map screen, you can, uh, the first chest there actually has like a, a weapon cycle that's known. Um, that if you open the chest like on the correct frame, you can always get a weapon that you want, and unfortunately I didn't do it correctly, but it's all good. Uh, yeah, this is Super Ghouls, like I said a couple times, uh, the third game in the series for the Super Nintendo. Uh, we're going to be doing both loops, completing the full game. Uh, it's very laggy, there's a lot of things happening. That ghost, that zombie on the left is a zoomer, that's insane. Uh, we're just going to chill here for a second. Um, yeah, I mean this game is like one of my favorite games, I've been playing it for quite a long time. And uh, excited to hang out, show it, and all that good stuff. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of hard to talk about this game. Just haven't played it for so long. But uh, we're gonna do a little, a little waterfall skip. We call it there. You can kind of just jump under the uh, the waterfall there. Usually, you kind of have to wait. You can save a couple frames doing that. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not gonna be getting the dagger until next level. Uh, the dagger is kind of just the most desirable weapon because it uh, does it does the most damage, it has the best magic. Uh, it's just like overall better than every single weapon in the entire game. So we always really want to try to do that. Uh, get it whenever we can. Uh, and I'll try to get it next level. So yeah, we're coming up already to our first boss, the Cockatrice. Good old Richard. And we're going to hit him uh, really, really fast in the face. Uh, I'm doing a lot of mashing with both the buttons. So in this game, there's two attack buttons. Uh, you use you can use Y and B to attack. Uh, so we're kind of going to be abusing that to, to mash faster and also to be able to attack and charge magic at the same time and all that good stuff. All right, so this game's chest system is also kind of, not it's not random based on what armor you're wearing and what chest you spawn. You always know what's going to be in them. Hey, look at that, we got a dagger, let's go. All right, cool. Um, so I didn't know that there was going to be a dagger. I knew it was going to be a weapon, but I ended up getting lucky that time. So that always feels nice. Uh, we're going to jump up here and miss the damage boost because I'm a bozo, but that's totally fine. Uh, I got to wait for this axe cycle now. If you uh, if you notice, there's uh, quite a bit of fast spinning axes. That's like the number one way to tell what difficulty you're on. Uh, so basically in this game, the difficulty doesn't really change. Honestly, it doesn't change too much. Uh, professional difficulty, the biggest change that's going to happen is it's going to just overall increase the... It's going to overall like increase the RNG. It's just this game is super random. Like there's nothing, there's nothing about it. Um, a, lot of, a lot of cool games have like specific routes and optimal things to do. Uh, unfortunately, this game is just super duper random. So while there is optimal things to do, there's also just a lot of, uh, a whole lot of improvisation that needs to go into the run in order to master it. Um, so yeah, and one of the best things about this, uh, this game is we get to ride a raft. We get to ride this raft for 
literally a third of the run. This is the the big bane of this run is the uh, the auto scroller here, uh, and I I left that uh, that bow on the ground over there, uh, technically floating in the water. I left it over there because that will, for whatever reason, on this level only, if you leave a weapon uh, and don't pick it up. Uh, that means that whenever these fishes have a basket, they will not drop a weapon anymore. So that means I don't have to worry about losing my dagger. Because like I said, the dagger rules. It's awesome. Uh, it's the best weapon in the game. Uh, it's the fastest. It's the best. It's just great. Um, but yeah, so while we're on um, this nice little, uh, you know, auto-scroller, Ectesis, let me ask you something. What... You you run like I like looked up your speedrun.com page and I know you like run like a billion games. What's your what's your favorite what's your favorite horror game that you've been running lately? You got one? I got a question from me. Uh, lately, oh well, here's a weird thing. So lately, I don't really have one game. Okay. I kind of did a month long ordeal where I ran every single game I ever did. Oh, that's sick. Yeah, I mean, you know, running the horror show, I run a lot of games, and I kind of was like, I haven't ran a lot of these games in a while. What if I do them again? And then lately I've been learning a bunch of new games, because I wanted to do that. Nice, nice. Anyway, to going into it recently, I've been enjoying Resident Evil Code Veronica a lot. It's weird. I didn't think I liked that game, but I don't know. It's been fun. Oh, right on, right on. Uh, now, a, a buddy of mine, uh, a buddy of mine runs a game called uh, Typing of the Dead. And I, I saw like you have game. a run in that as well, yeah. I just, he just was explaining to me how you're supposed to die to type easier words, and I'm just... Yep. Uh, I was like, I mean, why would? How, can't you just be better at typing? I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> so yeah, I can explain that really quick. Okay. So a lot of games have difficulty adjustment. So uh, this game doesn't have. This game's me. Um, newer games though, they're like, hey, you're having a rough time. What if we make it a little bit easier so you don't feel bad? Um, Speedrunners in games like Typing of the Dead and a lot of Resident Evil titles will actually abuse that. So you'll find certain moments where it's beneficial to die. You get a clear wipe of the screen sometimes. But more okay. importantly, uh, in Typing the Dead, you would go from like having to type like, oh, my Aunt Sally eats hamburgers, to having to type E. Oh, really? Is that, it's that much? Oh, damn. Yeah, like, well, not, okay. not that much, but like, it goes from like a sentence sure. to like a single word. And it doesn't matter how good you are at typing, like, you know, just getting the ability to type one word is so much faster. Anyway, there's the boss fight. Yeah, 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 thanks. Uh, so, yeah, we're doing, uh, like I said, there's two attack buttons in this game, so I kind of abuse that fact by. Attacking while holding another button, so you can like charge your magic and attack, uh, which is pretty neat. Uh, so we do that, and like I said uh, earlier, the dragon magic is awesome. The dagger is just really great. All right, so this is where the first real run begins now. So we're gonna do. Oh my gosh, this is fine. We're just gonna walk down this ladder and pray. Okay, that worked out pretty good here. Now I'm gonna turn to the left, lose my shield, and jump through the gap, and hopefully not get hit. I don't know how I didn't get hit right there. I'm gonna be honest. We're Putting in the cheat codes right now. Don't worry about it. The one buff. What is this game, dude? All right. Like I said, this game requires a lot of improvisation, and it's fun. Like that's why I've constantly been playing this game for the past like four or five years of my life because it just never ceases to amaze, never ceases to to surprise me. So here's like a little jumping trick. I'm gonna go for this, even though it's like saves not a lot of time, and it looks fancy. Yay! All right, it feels good. Uh, we're also going to try to do a non-magic kill here. This is a... Uh, hopefully if we do this right, we can manipulate this guy to do what I wanted to do. That wasn't what I wanted to do, but it's fine. So now we are on the towers. There's going to be five of these towers and a bunch of uh, bats that are going to be spawning randomly from any direction, from any angle. And generally they're really, really mean. Right now they're being not too bad. Uh, there is, like, a way to despawn them. I don't really know how to, but, like, it happens sometimes unintentionally where you would just no longer get bat spawns, which is pretty sick. Um, right now, they're not really despawning. All right, we're on tower number three. We're going to hit some of these gargoyles. After this tower is when things get a little bit more spicy. All right, we got some bats here. That bat on the bottom left is going to be kind of a jerk. Oh, boy. All right, we're fine. All right, it's fine. Just let him pass, that's fine. All right, so now we're on tower four and five. These are gonna spawn some goblins over ahead. Luckily, the dagger 
comes out like above Arthur's head, so we are safe. Now I'm gonna throw up a random magic, which looks random, but it's not. Uh, Fred underscore underscore discovered about, oh man, it's been a while now, maybe like three years ago, that when you cast a magic in this game, the next time you cast it, uh, specifically, for... okay, this is fine. Specifically for that magic, it does damage on the first frames instead of waiting a couple frames, so you get more damage. All right, so I need to listen to this real quick. Okay, cool. So we do a little bit of a setup right there, using the audio cue, the bam, bam, jump, jump. That's kind of how you, how you hear it in your head, and we're out of here. Um, pretty cool little setup. Again, the dragon magic, man, they really knew what they were doing with that one. All right, level four, we're in the ghoul's stomach, and these uh, these guys are called eaglers. I have to wait here, and I didn't wait. Am I dead? Oh, I'm dead. Oh, you jerk. That's fine. All right, so that's a specific RNG pattern that I have a way to not get hit there, but uh, I messed it up, so no, no worries. We'll have to get our armor back and hopefully not die. That's fine. We're just going to mash our way through all this. I'm going to do one of these to spawn an extra chest for safety. Hopefully, uh... What are you doing? Okay, that's cool. All right. A lot of this game, when I play this game, and especially try to talk about this game, is me just literally talking because I'm just reacting to whatever's going on because this game is just really mean. All right, we spawned that extra chest. This is chest number three. So when Arthur is in boxers, like he is now, if you open up the fourth chest, you will get your steel armor back. So that's why I'm kind of skipping those, ar those other... Uh, Chests, I don't need them. They don't do anything for me. We're gonna go right here, right before the checkpoint. Get our armor back and head on in to the checkpoint. Um, this is the classic mode seven here. Uh, a lot of mode seven in this game, but this is the most obvious one. If I do this correctly, if I do it fast enough, uh, I will technically skip the second half of this stage as mode seven. We call it mode seven skip. Uh, it, it doesn't actually save time. It just means that you're like playing optimally, basically. So we'll see if I get it right here. Um, it's gonna be close. Uh, I'm gonna wiggle like twice, and then if I don't wiggle anymore, we got it. Uh, oh, we got it! So for those of you who don't like Mode Seven, we're not. It's not Mode Seven anymore. If you've played this game casually, you're gonna say, "What in the world?" Because usually you should be shaking here, but we skipped it. Doesn't really save time technically, it just means that uh, we did this optimally, and uh, yeah. So one of the things on professional difficulty is these uh, steam vents here spawn at slightly different times and they last a lot longer, so we just gotta jump over them instead. And we're gonna jump right here and hopefully not die, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, so yeah, here's the Hydra. This guy has like a billion hitboxes. Like every one of these heads is like three hitboxes. So this is like the laggiest fight in the game. I'm just gonna sit here and use both of my attack buttons to mash as much as I can. Funny little thing about this game, if you jump and attack uh, on the same frame, it will lock Arthur and allow you to not attack anymore. So that's why when I jumped right there, I just didn't even attack because I accidentally uh, locked myself up, but that's fine. Got him out. So yeah, we skipped that mode seven. We saved all the motion sickness. And now we're in the deep chill. The deep chill. Uh, I want to recover my armor, my go my bronze armor here, because it will upgrade my daggers. It will give them more damage, and it makes them piercing. And overall, just makes them really good. So we're going to spawn two chests. Our check second chest is going to give us our armor. Oh, that's a not jump that I usually do. Uh, we're going to jump right there to spawn that flower ahead of us. I have to wait here, otherwise I'll die. Uh, what are you doing? Okay, cool. Alright, so that was a little unfortunate, but it's all good. One of the mechanics I haven't talked about is a mechanic called storage, is what we call it. Uh, so in this game, when you double jump and attack, your, uh, your weapon deals extra damage. So, for example, uh, regularly the dagger will do, I, think, I believe, 4 damage. But if you double jump and attack, it will deal 6 damage. But you can do, you can exploit that by throwing three daggers and then jumping and throwing like kind of like whiffing a dagger that like doesn't exist and it stores. I am just playing this game right now and we're doing stuff while I'm explaining things. I don't even know what's happening right now. We got guys on screen. Um, hopefully we're gonna kill this guy and he won't give me the quick swoop. Okay, maybe he will. All right, we're good. 
All right, so let's think about this here. We've spawned two chests plus three in the middle of that ice cave. Oh God, okay, this is fine. Uh, so that's four chests. I want five chests for my, go for my golden armor. Uh, I want five chests for, that's gonna be really mean if I get hit by that, so let's just do this. Okay. So what am I on? Oh God, I can't even, is this, uh, okay, let's just think about this here. Uh, how many chests have I spawned? <laughs> uh, we're gonna just check this one here. I don't, I'm not keeping track. All right, we're good. All right, that's five. All right, so yeah, like I said before, the chest system in this game is not random. It is based on, like, what uh, Arthur's armor state is, plus what chest you open up. So I will always know what chest we can open up. All right, and we're at the end of this level. You can just jump over those avalanches, by the way. Uh, you don't have to stop or anything. All right, we're going to wait a little bit, throw some magic, and attack while also holding our button, and do that, because that is the one bad pattern you can get. But luckily, I know all about it. All right, cool. All right, so on to level six. This is the quickest level in the game. There's a lot of different ways that you can handle it. I'm choosing to do the safe way because I don't want to get hit. Uh, you can take care of this guy and the next guy with one magic by doing a manipulation, but on this difficulty, uh, there is a very high probability that you get a bad pattern, and so I'm going to choose to lose the three seconds <laughs> uh, so I don't get hit. All right, and this guy, we're going to make him climb the ladder is what I call it. We're just going to move him with our daggers, make him fly up, and hope he doesn't instantly swoop me. He did. That's why you don't jump there. All right, cool. So now we're going to listen to the music again. Alright. So a lot of the games, a lot of the audio cues in this game uh, are really, really helpful. Um, on professional difficulty, if you don't release that in the last possible frame, you do not get the quick kill. And I didn't right there, so I lost another second and a half. Feels bad. Alright, we're always going to spawn this first chest for safety. That's going to make recovering if I get a hit uh, a lot nicer, a lot easier, and something that I don't really have to worry about. Uh, what are you going to do? I don't know what you're going to do. Okay, you're going to go straight up. That's really sketchy. Hopefully we can kill him there. Okay, we didn't kill him there. This is so awkward. What about you? What are you doing? Okay. All right. Can do another really cool strat here to kill this guy. But again, because we're on professional difficulty, it makes a lot of this stuff just super sketchy. So we just use our nice and safe dragon magic to take care of it. And we're going to mash like heck to uh, kill these little dragons. I'm just gonna chill here, yeah. <laughs> uh, th that guy could be a little sketchy, so you kinda just wanna chill. All right, so we're coming up. This is the last level, by the way, but we're doing both loops, so we're gonna, we have to kill these two guys, Astroth and Nebiroth. It is the tag team duo that both need to go to the doctor to get something checked, and I won't spoil it for you quite yet, but they're coming up. Here they are. Doo -doo -doo. Always got to use that audio cue to get our uh, dragon magic spawned. Okay, we're going to wait here. Okay, that's fine. All right, Nebiroth's gone. Or sorry, that's Astaroth. Nebiroth is here. We're going to hit him a couple times. Is that a laser? That's the earliest laser ever. All right, so we should be able to finish him with them. Oh, I'm locked. That's okay. Use the iframes to dodge the laser. We're doing stuff. Are you dead? Okay, let's go. All right, let's go. Can we get a pose? No pose. All right. So, in Super Ghouls and Ghosts and Ghouls and Ghosts tradition, if you would like, you can give me one G right now. You can, you can give me a singular G. Uh, that is tradition in this series. I haven't earned two Gs yet. I'll earn two Gs at the end of the lap. But if you'd like, you can give one G. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, this isn't the end of the game. The print print here is telling us that we have to go, we have to go back and get the goddess bracelet. Uh, which is the move, or the move. It's the item that you need to actually beat the game. Um, so this is a tradition in this in this game series. Wow, that's a lot of Gs. Oh my gosh, thank you. That's so many Gs. Thank you, G. Thank you, Gs. You guys are so cool. Thank you so much. That's the most Gs I've ever seen. <laughs> um, but yeah, so uh, she's telling us that uh, we have to go back and get the goddess bracelet. Now, on loop two... Uh, whenever you are in gold armor, if you open up a chest that is supposed to have a weapon in it, it will spawn the Goddess Bracelet. Goddess Bracelet is awesome, it deals a billion damage, but it's just, like, so much easier to just keep using the dagger. So we're gonna do that. Alright, I'm gonna try to lose my shield right here. 
Uh, Alright, uh, so the shield causes lag. Uh, and we don't want that. This game is very laggy, and when you're playing optimally, when you're trying to go quick, you don't want lag. So we get rid of that shield as early as possible. And, uh, yeah. So now we gotta do it all again. Typically, if you're playing this game on the normal difficulty, or on any other difficulty besides professional, typically the game gets more difficult here. Uh, it will increase the RNG, it will increase boss health, it will uh, increase the distance at which the bears shoot flame and ice, it will increase the speed of the axes swinging in level 2. Um, but since we're playing on professional difficulty, it's just... it. It's just already at the max difficulty, so it just doesn't go any harder. So we're just got to do the same thing again at the same difficulty. It's like, you all ever, ever seen Spinal Tap? You know, it's like this thing goes to 11. You know, it's already at 11. It doesn't, it, it doesn't, we can't go any higher here. But you get to see how much cooler and easier this level looks with the dagger as opposed to the bow on level one. You can see why the dagger is much preferred. And we're going to try to get some early hits here. Ooh, only got one, that's fine. And we're gonna mash our heart out and kill him. Nice, good stuff. All right. So at the end, do we also say single G? No, we get two G, it's two Gs at the end. We got one for the one loop and then one more for the second loop, so we get our two loops. I'm gonna crouch jump right there. So in this game, when you crouch jump, which means if you're holding down while you jump, uh, it actually lowers Arthur's hitbox, and I do that right there to specifically um, skip that first chest. Um, that just makes this next part, um, this damage boost right here, it makes it a little bit easier because now when I go right here, oh, oh no! <laughs> All right, that was not what we wanted there, boys. <laughs> All right, I walked a little too far there, so now, it's all good. This is all fine. It's all part of the plan. We're still going to skip our first chest and do our same plan. I walked a little bit too far there, and I knew I walked a little too far there. So, dang. Man, it's been so long since I've died there, I won't lie. This was going great, too. This was deathless until there. Dang. Oof. But it wouldn't be Super Ghouls and Ghosts if, it was, if there wasn't a silly, silly death. So, all right. Try this again. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. <laughs> Dang, alright. Well, you know what? What are you gonna do about it but move on? We are, you know what I'm saying? Alright, here we go. Back on the raft. Oh man, I can't believe I died right there, but it's all good. Uh, the nice thing about this game is, like, because of the chess system, because it's not random, like, one of the, hard, one of the things that I tell people that, like, want to run this game like, a lot of people are get intimidated by it because it's so random and it's, you know, it's obviously kind of difficult, but I tell people, you can get good at this game by simply understanding the chess system. <coughs> Excuse me. By simply understanding the chess system, we can, um, like, recover quite easily. So right now, we're going to open these up backwards. We spawn these two chests. I'm going to kill this guy off screen. I'm going to open up this one to give me my armor. I'm going to open up that one to leave an axe or whatever weapon that is. Um, we're going to leave that on the ground because uh, if you're here for loop one, this level is unique. And if you ever leave a weapon on the ground, uh, that means the fishies who have baskets will no longer uh, drop weapons. So I don't have to worry about losing my dagger anymore, which is a very uh, not good thing. It's, it's not great, I won't lie. But so, now that yeah. we're in loop two, I get to ask you a question. So what yeah, got you yeah, into yeah. Uh, Super Ghouls and Ghosts? Well, sorry, what sorry? What What got you into Super Ghouls and Ghosts? Oh, man, what got me into this game? <sighs> you know, probably, this answer is probably an answer that maybe a lot of people who are watching GDQ know. I, I first heard about this game watching uh, EJ and Koreshi back in the day uh, run this. Uh, for GDQ, PJ, PJ to Caesar, and uh, Kreshi were both two like super old school runners of this game. They they played this uh, quite a while ago, and I, I saw that saw his run. I was like, man, this game is sick. I like I never had played this game in my life. Uh, this this was like my first serious speed run. I, I saw that those guys playing. And I was like, man, this kind of looks sick. It looks fun. It looks interesting. Difficult. It was like it checked all the boxes for me. You know, like there's a lot of runs that are like 
Like, I also run a few other games. Like, I run, like, Super Mario World. Super Mario World, amazing game. Super awesome. But it's there's, like, no RNG, you know, and that's... To me, personally, that makes the, that makes it a, li a little boring. I like a little spice in my life, you know? <laughs> so... So that's kind of why, like, it's 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 ran it's, it has a lot of randomness. It takes a lot of skill. It takes a lot of improvisation. Uh, you know, it's fun. And plus, who doesn't like eight minute raft rides? You know, like we get to sit on this raft for eight minutes of a thirty two minute run. <laughs> but yeah, that got me into this. I, I I got into Super Ghouls, and then eventually I got into Ghouls and Ghosts, uh, into the Genesis and arcade version. Uh, and I, you know, met a lot of uh, my really good uh, friends. Uh, I'm dead. Okay, no, I'm not. <laughs> um, I just, I don't know. I, I, I got into this game, and then I, I learned more about the series, and I pretty much uh, just kind of fell in love with it. I like every game in the series except the NES, except for Ghosts and Goblins. The NES version is just so I, I can't even. I've like tried so many times in my life. I, I've tried so many times in my life to get in that game, and I just can't, man. It's so jank, dude. <laughs> it's so bad. Uh, but one day, one day, I'll, I'll buckle down, you know, and I'll and I'll do my duty to the to the Ghost and Goblins community, and I'll get a run down, you know. One day, one day. All right. So yeah, on uh, loop two again, same strat. We're gonna hold down our attack button while attacking with our other attack button, so we can charge magic and attack and get rid of him. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Demon's Crest? Demon's Crest rules as well. I've played that game. Uh, played that game, and it's uh, a great game. All right, so here we are, level three. Uh, we're going to we're gonna play it safe this time and attack that guy. Again, my strat here. Uh, I throw those daggers specifically because after you throw three daggers, the next dagger that you throw will always be at the lowest possible point that it can come out. So that's kind of a, a manipulation. I'm not throwing those daggers just for fun. That is a, a manipulation strat because when Arthur throws the daggers, the height in which they come out is random. Um, if you're playing any other difficulty, you can jump over that flame, but since we're playing professional difficulty, that flame is the longest it can possibly be and you cannot jump over it. Uh, you must you must respect that pattern and you get that pattern like the majority of the time. Um, so you kind of you kind of just have to hope to get really lucky if you want to not lose like three seconds of just sitting there basically. Um, all right, see if we can kill our Aremer once more without using our magic, and we got him. Nice, good stuff. And on to the towers, the five towers. I like to avoid that first bat. That first bat will always have a basket, and it will always contain a weapon. Uh, so if you're playing this game and you see that first bat. Uh, my advice to you is to just simply ignore it. Leave it alone. Uh, we're going to throw our two daggers to, to, to get our guys and just take a... If you hold right, you can do this. Ah! Arthur, chill. <laughs> uh, don't do that for the next two platforms, by the way, because you will fall off. But those first two platforms are moving at a speed that lets Arthur literally not fall off that platform if you're holding forward. So you just can kind of hold forward, give Arthur the shakes, and let him... Uh, Kind of let him, uh, you know, chill for a second. Ah. On to Tower 4, which means we got goblins coming from the sky. Luckily, our dagger comes out above us. Oh gosh, this is weird. All right, cool. And once again, we are going to... Uh, this is what we call... We call this the Fred Dragon Screw, because our friend Fred underscore underscore discovered that... Uh, it's like a really technical thing, but basically it means that the magic will deal damage on its opening frames instead of not dealing damage, which makes which makes this quick kill a lot easier and a lot more consistent. Uh, I'm going to listen to the stage audio one more time for this. Hey, let's go. Here we go. We listen to our audio. Our dun 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 dun. And luckily, our strat lines up just, just perfectly with it. So it's pretty, pretty nice, pretty nice. <coughs> All right, excuse me. All right, let's see if we get the really mean eagler spawn again. That guy is mean. I don't like it. Okay, this is just... Okay, we're good, though. We're not going to take a hit here. Hopefully. All right, we're good, we're good. Um, so then we're going to... We get to show off a cool little strat here that is uh, something that I never went for in my life until I was very, very uh, practiced with this game. I don't even know what we call it. We're gonna throw a bunch of daggers and just do that. It's really nice. 
uh, and really quick. Um, okay, wow, he went side to side. That was really lucky. These guys, they're throwing stuff, we're jumping over stuff, and we're getting our, in, our, in our mode 7, man. This is great, dude. This game's awesome, uh, in case you're wondering. Uh, it's It rules. This is, like, probably my favorite game uh, that I've ever played. <laughs> I don't know why. Like, I don't know, man. Like, Ekdesis, you asked me, like, what got me into it, man. I don't even know, dude. Just something about it just grabbed me, man. You know, you can, sometimes you just can't explain that, you know? Sometimes you just get the feels. All right. We got mode 7 skip on our first loop. We're now in loop 2. Let's see if we can get another mode 7 skip. I'm doing all these jumps uh, to spawn and trigger these steam vents uh, in a time and a spot that is useful to me instead of not useful to me. So we're also despawning some things. I miss that guy. That sucks. All right, we're not going to get mode 7 skip. Feels bad. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. This cough won't go away. All right. So unfortunately for those of you who hate mode seven, uh, yeah, we didn't get the skip. <laughs> you can see the difference between loop one and loop two here. Now loop one, we got the skip and our little uh, cherry pie that we were riding on before uh, was nice and stable, but unfortunately it's not stable anymore. Um, and we have our background mode seven, just going ham right now. Man, if you ever ever played the, the beta, so this game like, you know, a while back when all those betas got, uh, got leaked or whatever, <laughs> Uh, we had the Super Goals beta got leaked, and man, the Mode 7 was like double the speed of this. It was insane, dude. It was it was ridiculous, so I'm glad they kind of toned it down. Alright, so you're going to see here the power of the Piercing Daggers. The Piercing Daggers are going to go through all these hitboxes and hopefully just wreck this guy. Oh, this was not great, actually. Alright, we're good. Alright, alright. So... On to level five. Once again, the deep chill, the best track in the game. Fight me. <coughs> All we need to do now, if everything goes according to plan and I do not take a hit. Oh, okay. Okay, this is not, this is all going. So if everything continues to go according to plan, like it's going for right now, then I only need to spawn two chests because I do want to get my uh, shield back. My shield in this game uh, allows you to block certain projectiles. But that's not why I want it. I want it because it allows you to charge your magic faster. Um, that's a bad pattern. I have to wait. Um, so it allows you to charge your magic faster. I believe the difference between no shield and uh, the regular shield, it's something like... Man, it's something like almost like 60... Uh, like like uh, slightly over a second faster, basically. Uh, it's a lot faster. It's a lot better. Those ice vines do not have a hitbox until they're fully formed. That's why it looks like I'm supposed to be taking damage and I'm not. Um, so yeah, like I said, I want the uh, I want the a shield back so I can charge my magic faster, and I want that for this boss and for the next bosses. Uh, you don't technically really need it, but it makes life a lot easier. All right, so that's chest number one. And in my life, a lot of the times, I have to say that out loud or I'm going to forget it. All right, we got the good luck. We got the good luck right there. All right, we, well, we did one, right, chat? We've spawned one chest. Oh, gosh. I just said that out loud, so hopefully uh, uh, that made sense. All right, we want the second chest right here. And it's going to be like this. We're going to spawn it up here. And there it is. Nice. All right, so these avalanches, you can just jump over them. Whoop. No worries, no problems. And now we're up to Baruroken, the ice guy here. Turn around, throw our magic, charge it while also attacking. This is a good pattern. Nice, that's a good pattern. All right, we're almost there, guys. We're almost to the end here. We're almost to the end. We got two levels to go. And like I said, we have to get the goddess bracelet, but it's not quite time for it yet. Goddess bracelet's awesome. It deals a lot of damage. It deals the most damage in the game. Uh, it doesn't have any magic, but it does deal the most damage in the game. But, as you can see, the dagger magic is just so flippin' good, man. It's just so good. It just wrecks everything. So basically, I'm going to wait until the very last level, which is going to be next level, to pick it up. All right. We're going to use our dagger manipulation here, make him climb the ladder, as I say. Climb the ladder, and we're not going to jump, just in case he swoops. He did not swoop that time. All right, so we're going to listen to the stage once more. Do, 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 throw. Nice. That might have been a little early, but it's okay. Yeah, a little early. I'm going to wait here. Okay. Nice. <coughs> it's 
excuse me. All right, so here we are, last level. Uh, now we're going to pick up our goddess bracelet, and that is going to be in the second chest of this level if I don't take a hit. So we're going to spawn our first chest. That first chest is going to be a magician. We don't want the magician. I'm going to play this safe. And uh, kill these guys and all that good stuff. And you can see the dagger pierces the wall, so you can kill these guys in the wall. So you don't have to deal with them. If you, if you can't do that, it's terrible. All right, and here is the bracelet. Let's go, the goddess bracelet. So we're going to take our little time out, get this thing, and here we go. So this is the goddess bracelet. It is the game. You have to kill these two bosses with the goddess bracelet in order to get to the final true boss. Um, so that's what we're going to do. We're going we're gonna to use this bracelet. It deals more damage the closer you are. So its damage is based on proximity. So you got to really... Uh, you gotta really be brave and jump right in there and get as much damage as you possibly can. Make our way up to the final bosses, Astaroth and Nebiroth. And see if we can't get a good old kill here. Man, I can't believe I died on level two. <laughs> Early shot. Oh, we got it, let's go. Okay, we're gonna wait here. So if you're crouching, and you're close to him, it makes the flame go down. So we're gonna do that. One, two, three, jump. What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, I'm just gonna walk up to him. This is bad, this is fine. We're gonna crouch jump towards him and that's gonna manipulate him so he doesn't move. If you crouch jump, he will not move. All right, not bad, not bad. So, here we are, the final, true final boss here, the Fiend Sardius. Uh, he's going to shoot out some lasers and some platforms. We're going to jump on the platform and hit him in the head. Uh, this game has like a strange fascination of uh, people with faces on their chest, so it's just kind of... Okay, what's this doing? Zoop! Zoop! That's not the zoop we wanted, boys! Oh, I locked myself too. That's real awkward. Alright, this is fine. All right, maybe one more cycle. I think I'm. Gonna, it's, I think this might be a four cycle. That's gonna be. Oh, I have to wait here. I'm not gonna risk it. Oof. When the game says, "Nah, man, chill, chill." Okay, this is a good pattern. All right, let's see if we can get a slide. It's gonna be time as soon as I finish this. So probably like three, two, one, time. Oh, we didn't get a slide, but we finished. Let's go. And there she is, Prin Prin, the princess coming down in your orb. And we are rewarded with a loving embrace. And that's it. That's Super Ghouls and Ghosts, man. Uh, uh Jesus, thanks, dude. I, I appreciate it, man. I love playing this game. We never, anytime, dude. Anytime you want it, man. You let me know, dude. This game rules. It's awesome. It's a classic. Yeah, it's classic. What else can you say, man? But yeah, I, I, I'm telling you one, I, I play this game quite regularly. Uh, if you're into it, come on over. Check out the, the twitchtv.com slash telly one channel, man. We're here, we're playing it, we're doing stuff. And I appreciate I appreciate you, Ecdesis. It's always a pleasure, man. Absolutely. Thank you once again. And you're getting a lot of the actual GGs in chat now. Oh, we earned the two Gs. Let's go. Well, definitely congrats on the ending with Princess Prin Prin. Oh yeah, yeah, it's great, man. I mean, I, I don't have I don't have much else to say. I, you are, I'll sit here and talk all night about this game, but man, I, I love it. I, I play it. I'll, I'll keep playing it for for a long time. It's it's a great oh, one. Good. I definitely want to say though, <laughs> for anyone who did miss it, uh, you can find uh, Telio One's channel in the pinned comments. Uh, go ahead and check them out if you want to watch more Super Ghouls and Ghosts and other classic games. Uh, that being said, I want to say thank you once again for doing the run, and we have plenty of more runs for you tonight. We have two more, uh, both are going to be some deep cuts and difficult horror games, so hopefully you'll enjoy those. Nice. Uh, yeah, anyway, we're going to be right back really quick. We're going to be setting up for Mad Panic Coaster. We'll be right back. All right, everyone, welcome back from the break. Hope you enjoyed that amazing run of Super Golds and Ghosts. I always like watching that game. I love the music. I love how challenging it is. It's always nice to watch people do something that you kind of struggle with because a lot of these games are pretty difficult. 
Uh, that being said, the next game we have for you is a bit of a more obscure deep cut. You may have never heard of this game because it is a uh, Japanese exclusive PS1 game. Uh, I tried it out at one point and it's just kind of really frantic and it seems like it's kind of built for speedrunning. Uh, anyway, it's going to be a bit of a crazy coaster with Mad Panic Coaster with Joaster98. There you go, Ev. All right, thanks for having me. Um, I, just so everyone, to kind of put the obscurity of this game into context, I'm fairly confident that Ekdysis is the only other person I know who actually owns a copy of the game. Uh, it is very hard to get a copy of this game, um, but it is very cool um, and goes by very quickly and is a very challenging game. I've only ever won CC the game twice, um, so maybe we'll get a third one here. Who the heck knows? Uh, that would be very hype and cool. But uh, a lot. strap in here because uh, there's a lot. There's gonna be a lot going on. Um, but uh, yeah, let's get going here. If we're ready. In uh, three, two, one, go. All right. So basic premise of this game: there are 15 roller coasters from hell, and. Uh, the goal is to survive. That is really just just it. Um, this game does have a break button. Uh, it's not going to get used because uh, it honestly doesn't even really help you that much, and it goes makes you go slow anyways. Um, so <laughs> just uh, just strap in because here we go. This game uh, this game does not mess around. It just throws you right in there. Um, so every every track you have three laps. Um, there are enemies and obstacles on the track that will try and damage you or knock you off the track. The track has no railings anywhere, so you can just go flying off the side. Um, I am actually steering this entire time. Uh, there are three attacks you can do in this game. Uh, there is a short range attack and a long range attack, and being the genius that I am, I did not know there was a mid range attack in this game until like yesterday. Wait, what? Uh, yeah, I did not know that. Um, oh, so, I had, so I had never used it. Uh, it's triangle. It's, I accidentally pressed triangle once when I was playing, uh, when I was remembering how to play this game earlier this week. And I was like, wait, that did an attack. And then I actually looked in the manual, which is in Japanese, so I just assumed that I couldn't read it. But if you just look at the controls, there's clearly like three different uh, Japanese characters next to square, circle, and triangle. Um, and, you know, being. Uh, you know, the expert gamer that I am, I did not know that Triangle was the mid-range attack until the other day. So, uh, it actually makes the game substantially easier, which is very funny since I had previously only ever used the short and long-range ones. Um, but the mid-range one, I'll actually be using quite a bit um, because I have found it to be uh, actually quite good in certain situations. <clears throat> huh. So, uh, basic structure of this game as well, there are five worlds, each have three tracks. The first two tracks are just regular tracks, uh, and the last track is a boss track. Um, so, the next track will be a boss one, which I'll, I'll explain more about how those work uh, when I get to one, because they work a little differently. Um, yeah, this is, uh, so this is just 1-2. And a couple new things that this track introduces, um, it slash lessons it tries to teach you. One of which is um, that you can actually kind of maneuver yourself to the left and right edges of the track to avoid obstacles, which I go there to avoid the bones. And the other are is putting holes in the track, so the rows of shovels that pop up denote, hey, there's a hole in the track coming up. Uh, on these earlier levels, that's not that bad. On the later levels, the shovels come up so quickly that it's not really possible to react to them. So if you don't know they're there, uh, you are going to fall in the hole. And every time you fall off the track, you lose 20% of your health. And if you lose all your health, uh, you game over, and you have to redo the track that you game over then. You don't have to uh, like, go back to the start of the game. It's not as punishing as some of the other games we've seen uh, tonight, but uh, still very bad nonetheless, because each of these tracks is, at bare minimum, two minutes. Um, some may be even longer, so you really don't want to be uh, game overing. Um, so we'll, we'll do our best not to do that, but like I said, uh, I've only ever done that twice. And one of those times was actually on, uh, it's the last time I actually did this on a hot pick show. 
Uh, so maybe we'll, uh, maybe that luck will come through again. Uh, that, would be, that would be great. Yeah, that's good. Nothing too much to that track there. I appreciate the appreciation of the game shelf here. Was there just a wide variety of PS1 games of varying degrees of obscurity from, you know, Symphony of the Night to this and everything in between? Uh, also, the game tells you you're lucky after every track, which is actually generally correct. <laughs> I'm not going to argue with the game on that one. So this is the boss uh, first boss track. How the boss tracks work are they you do three laps like normal, uh, and then after you do three laps, a side path will open, and then the boss fight will begin. And there are two ways to beat the boss. The first is to actually just kill him by hitting him enough times. And the other way, other way to win is to just actually survive three more laps, uh, which should really never come into play uh, because that is always slower. But if I in a situation where my health is really low, I may just like ride it out. Um, it's unlikely I will have to do that, but there is one boss where that's actually not that bad of a strat because the ranks are very short. Um, there's also, you may also have also noticed those blue gems I was picking up. Um, there's one of those per track with a couple exceptions, um, but generally there's one per track, and if you get it, it's a one-time 20% health refill. Um, so you may see me intentionally avoid it on lap one in order to uh, grab it at the end of lap two, uh, because I may have not taken any damage on lap one, for example. This is the first boss. Uh, so, on bosses, the long-range attack is generally just better than every other attack. Uh, I may sprinkle in some mid-range here. Um, but because the boss can run into the explosion from the attack, it's really good to uh, just throw it, and then they can run into it even if they're really close to you. So there's the first boss, just dead. Not too shabby of a start here. So something I'm actually, uh, which I found out, uh, so I ran this game at ESA 22. Uh, and something I found out in that run is uh, that you get an extra bonus if you beat a track without taking damage, which is extremely hard to do because everything hits you. Um, and so it's actually optimal to take damage because uh, then you get one less bonus that pops up at the end of the level and it saves like two seconds. Um, but trust me, it doesn't matter how good you are at this game, you are going to get hit, so don't worry. Uh, so now this track, if you thought staying on the track was hard, uh, this track has ice physics. Uh, and it is easily the worst track in the game. Um, so I'm going to be flying all over the place here. And there's really nothing I can do about it, other than just uh, hold on to the earth and try to kill the Sasquatch I can do. Um, which I did not do. Um, so this is, a, this is a situation where I'm going to actually jump over this crystal because my health is still pretty good. And I'll probably want that at the end of the next log. I saw someone ask how you go faster. Uh, this game runs at a fixed speed. So you're always moving at max speed. Um, you can slow yourself down, but I'm not going to do that. There's, there's like one very niche spot where I might do that, but in general, uh, you just the game just pushes you pushes you forward and you just try and stay on. So your time saves are not falling off the track because that means a few seconds, um, as well as uh, killing bosses quickly. Those are your typical uh, good strats. I actually missed the crystal, so my health, I mean, my health situation is pretty good. If this was a later level, I'd be way more concerned um, because there's just way more stuff in later levels that would kill you. Um, but this one, it's uh, not too bad. I mean, it's not that good. So I grabbed the ball, so we're just, we're just chilling now.
There's also a rare bug that can happen. I'm not sure what causes it, but the that little jingle that plays at the end of the level, like the little music that plays when they say lucky, uh, sometimes it just doesn't play. And if that happens, you just save like five seconds. And I have no idea what causes it. So if anyone can figure that out, I would greatly appreciate it because it seemingly just happens. Um, this is the first track that is A, really laggy. It's actually really the only laggy track in the game. And uh, B, this track actually has split paths. Um, so there's a basically a shortcut um, that you can take that if you take it all three times, you save like a minute and it cuts a minimum portion of this track out. Uh, the thing with the split paths in this game though is that it's, it's, it's actually hard to take them. Um, you have to like swing into them so like the game wants to send you to the right there. Um, but going left is way faster. So that's why I went to the left. Uh, and that makes these laps very, very short. Um, the, uh, the longer path is not only longer, it's actually extremely hard on this track because there's a jump that's basically a blind jump um, where you the track slopes downhill and then the jump comes up on you. Uh, and it's actually like a pretty tight jump even if you time it right. And timing it right is very hard, so you almost always just fall off every time. Uh, so we're just gonna, we're gonna take the short path. And you saw I fell off the track there because this shortcut over it has this giant bouncing object that it hits you and just hit you off the track, uh, which is very cool and fun. Um, but thankfully, this is a very short track, so it's not too big of a deal. That is correct. If you fall off the track, you lose 20% of your health. It's not an instant death. Um, otherwise, this game would be way, way, way harder than it already is. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've never beaten the game without falling off the track at least once. Um, uh, it's definitely possible, but uh, it would be very hard. So this is the next boss track. Um, this boss, and, and this is actually true for like most of the rest of the bosses in this run, the aggression level varies wildly for no particular reason. Um, and, and the laps for this boss specifically are actually very short. So if I get in a dire health situation, this may be a boss that I just stall out um, and just do the three laps on, because it's actually not that much slower than killing the boss normally. Even when you kill the boss normally with a, like a good kill, you're at like the earliest, like, the end of lap two. Um, so, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll play that one by ear because, uh, we'll be all over the place. I really want to get this... Okay, I missed the crystal, so now I could be in some trouble if I could be really bad. Okay, so here's the bug. So the jingle doesn't play here, and the level will just end instantly. So I just saved a bunch of time for no reason. Uh, so thank you, game. Very cool. It may it may be a uh, like a, a PS2 fast disc speed thing because I did hear my console make a funky noise there. But uh, yeah, it's uh, very cool and nice. Um, so we'll, we'll take free time save. That was clearly intentional. All right, so now we're in World 3. Uh, this track specifically, the large difficulty is the blue gem refill is actually very hard to get because you generally go over it because there's a, there's a jump kind of at the end of the lap. And typically, if you don't slow down or have a very well-timed jump, you will go over it. And uh, it's very easy to get hit on this track, so that can be very bad. Uh, seeing as like I've already lost like over 20% of my health. Yeah, so I'm gonna... So this is like the only spot in the game where I'm actually gonna use the break button, and it still might not even work, <laughs> because the timing on this is very weird. Okay, so it did work, so I can get the crystal there. 
So again, that's only a one-time thing, so I can't like just get pummeled on this lap because that thing isn't there anymore. Um, but that's the only way to really get that. There, you can also time a jump to get down there, but it's uh, normally if you actually do that, you just go flying, which is good for speed, but when you're trying to get the health repo, you're, you're less concerned about speed and more concerned about okay, I would like to actually not die on the track. So like that actually probably really worked too. Um, those uh, pillars also fall in random spots on the track, so maneuvering around them can be very tricky. They don't do a ton of damage, um, but they are still annoying nonetheless. I'm pretty sure all three will win. Okay, I just also just got a bunch of extra points. Um, so if you jump off of a like a kind of a gap and you crash down, however many skulls on your health meter you have revealed will be taken off your health meter and will give you five thousand extra points. So at the end at the end of that lap there, I had two uh, exposed, and uh, that gave me ten thousand extra points. Uh, which is, you know, a neat little thing. So if you're trying to maximize score, you actually want to lower your health like as low as possible uh, in order to do that. If you're trying to beat the game, I would strongly advise against doing that. Just stay at high health because uh, it disappears in a hurry. <laughs> now, so this track is actually quite cool. It goes underwater. Um, it does not change physics or anything. It's purely aesthetic, but it is cool. There's like swinging anchors and fish and sharks and octopi and a bunch of other stuff. These uh, shells here close randomly. Uh, and so it's you're trying to react to them closing to jump over them and not take damage, but you almost always get hit by uh, at least one. Okay, so again, another situation where I've, I've taken less than 20%, so I'm going to intentionally skip the, uh, uh, the gem there, and I'll do that on the second lap, um, because I, I don't need it right now. I've done this track like three or four times today, just in practice, and the uh, pattern that those things close in has been different every single time. Uh, so, yeah, <laughs> there's just no rhyme or reason to it. Okay, there's my gem. So my health is really good going in this last lap. Okay, all three of them close that time. So far, so good. So this boss is one of the worst offenders for uh, variable difficulty. Um, so he's very similar to the previous boss in terms of he can just be wildly aggressive for no reason. Um, but his project, his attacks do way more damage. <laughs> so he, it is actually very likely i'll die here um this is probably the second hardest boss next to the final boss which is you know we'll we'll, we'll complain about the final boss when we get there but uh, um, this boss is is uh probably my least favorite in just in the regular in like the main game this guy is really really dumb Out, but that doesn't mean a lot. <laughs> I 
three wide dots yet. Okay, that was like the easiest easy mode of all time. We just died instantly. We take those. I only got hit twice. But yeah, every every hit that everything that guy throws at you does twenty percent. So you get hit five times, you die. Uh, this game also has an awesome feature where if you kill a boss and die at the same time, uh, you just die and you have to start over. <laughs> uh, it does not count, and I have found that out the hard way multiple times. So uh, yeah, don't. Uh, it's very depressing when that happens. Like the boss will be mid death animation, but the game kills you first. Um, so. Very, very depressing. All right, we're on world four here. Um, this track is very mean to first time players on lap three. Uh, you'll see what I mean by that. <laughs> That like weird, this like weird crazy looking enemy here also does 20% if it hits you. It's very, very bad to get hit by him, so don't get hit by him. I'm gonna grab this now. He's uh, I'm gonna take a bunch of damage there. Oh, that was like a 5,000 IQ dodge of that falling go blood there. It definitely wasn't extremely lucky. Okay, I guess when I get the truck talking cash, I just fell off. Okay, this actually, I might be in some trouble here. My health is not very good. And I already got the uh, pickup. I okay, killed all three of those guys. That's very good. So here, the track, puts, there's a, they put a hole in the track and then the speed up occurs immediately. So right when the track speeds up, if you do not jump, you fall in the hole and uh, lose 20% of your health. Uh, it's very, very, it's just a super noob trap. Um, also a like skilled player trap because it's very hard to dodge. Um, even when you know it's coming, it's very hard to time. <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, I, I Die there somewhat regularly because you uh, have basically have to anticipate it. But if you jump early, you just die as well. So you don't want that to happen. One thing I'll point out, like, uh, I'll mention on this track, this, this track specifically has some really cool enemy design. Uh, and a lot of the enemies in the game are actually very, very cool. Um, but the game moves so quickly that you can't really pick all of them up. So I would recommend after you watch this run and you have some time to actually look up the sprite work in this game because it's actually extremely good. Um, you just can't see it because the game is just flying by. Like, you have this octopus who's just throwing vinyl at you. Um, and then you have these, like, coming up here, these, like, Smurf looking dudes. Um, this like this I, I mentioned this on this track specifically because this, this track has some of my like favorite enemy design it looks like it's very out there. Oh, I did not want to get that. Okay. I want to go around that because I didn't get hit, but it's okay.
Okay, ready? I've always found this, like this track specifically to be like kind of easy for where it is in the game. Um, like the ice physics track is way harder than this one. Um, but hey, we'll take it. And I ain't gonna complain about a uh, difficulty drop late in the game. That's for sure. Uh, so this boss track, the actual track is probably the hardest of the boss tracks in the game. Uh, it has a lot of enemies, um, just a lot going on. Um, so it's very difficult to actually stay at a high health on this track for the boss. Um, just because there's a lot going on. Oh, that's an excellent start. Just die immediately. <laughs> was mildly tempted there after that death to just like take a death on this on this track and try again, but uh, I think we'll be okay. We'll give it a go. Okay, I pressed X and nothing happened there, so that's very awesome. Okay, this is going to be much harder now. Or we'll give it a go. Yeah, this is. Already only gonna be at 60% health for this boss. We'll uh we'll see what we can do with it. Make sure we press X extra hard there to make sure it actually works. We got the chance here. Let's see. What we Yeah, I have no idea what the projectiles are, I'll be perfectly honest. I have not uh, done the full Google Translate of the manual, and I can't read Japanese, so... Uh, I'm not uh, privy to all the specifics of this game. All right, now we're in the final world. Only three tracks left. Um, so far, so good. Okay, yeah, I don't know what it is, so I'm like... So, the plot is... I, I don't remember the guy... I think like Dr. Panic or something, the, the main villain, the zombie, shows up in the game over. Uh, he has a son who he used to design roller coasters for, but then he got interested in money, babes, and gambling. Oh. So that's why right now you're in, uh, I think it's Mad City. This is like his uh, Vegas kind of area. So, to appease his son, he made 15 death coasters and tortured children. And you're just here. If that isn't the most PS1 plot you've ever heard. Uh, yes, that's where the final <laughs> boss is like uh, a guy riding around on the... Uh, well, I guess we'll see it, but that's why the boss is like that. They actually dodged the triple meat roller on the final lap. 
after not diving into the other, the other two laps. I want to shout out my pal Style and I in the chat there. He's a legend. All right, so this track is like the super noob killer track. Um, so this has multiple split paths. And if you take the wrong paths, you will just go in circles and you will not get laps counted. So there's only actually one path through this level that makes your lap count. Otherwise, you'll just be keep going in circles and get very frustrated, um, which is exactly what happened the first time I played this because I was playing on the track for like two minutes. I was like, why am I still in lap one? So I was going the wrong way. Uh, this is also probably the hardest track to actually survive, just because there's so much crap um, on it, like all this food, and the enemies are super, super aggro. Especially these, like, ha-ha-ha -ha -ha dudes, with the worst enemies in the game. I've tried a million different strats to get through that food section without taking damage and then if it work. If someone has something, please, uh, please let me know and I will be very, very happy. I am amazed that I made that made it through that. That, that track is deceptively hard. Um, so I'm, I'm very happy I squeaked through that. I was pretty confident I was gonna have to retry that track at least once. That's that's one you die on uh, very regularly, um, regardless yeah. of skill level. It's because it, um, unless you can figure out a way to get through the food section without getting hit every time, because you get hit once there at least every time. Um, oh then you're in huge trouble. Uh, it's it's very tough. If you can actually, <laughs> you, the, you could intentionally take the split paths, because they actually, on that track specifically, the split paths actually have extra health refills. Um, so you can do that if you are really desperate on health. I don't recommend it, but it is a strat. Um, all right, so now this boss. Uh, I don't know how many times you have to hit this boss, but it's approximately 47 trillion. Uh, and he does a lot of damage every time he hits you, and he hits you a lot. And so we're just gonna spam the long range attack here and uh, hope you kill him without getting killed first. <laughs> yeah, uh, there he is. He's just sitting on a golden throne, has the, the girls with him, he's throwing golden pillows and money bags at you, and he's eating ice cream. Cool. And unlike the other boss tracks, uh, obviously, this is the final boss, you have to actually kill this guy. You can't just survive X laps and uh, um, and win, you have to actually kill him. Um, which is a shame because normally this actually killing him takes like 10 minutes, so. Okay, so we're in phase two here. We should be going to phase three very shortly, which is the final phase. There we go. The health situation is extremely good, but that can change in a heartbeat, so uh, don't. <laughs> and you're on the timer, right? Like that's just assuming you actually win on the first try here? Pretty, pretty much, yeah. We'll okay. say time whenever it's done. Okay. I just got a lot of hits there. That was really good damage. Um, so a strat for this guy is that, like, uh, yellow attack is very hard to dodge and so the way to dodge it is to make him spawn it like that where it's like half off the trap and so then you just move to the other side of the trap and it gets uh much easier to dodge when it's only like halfway on the trap same thing with the fire thing if you're on an edge of the, the edge of a track the fire spreads out but if you make him shoot it at you while you're on the edge uh, it will only like cut 
cover like a quarter of the track. And even then, like that yellow attack is still hard to dodge. One thing that we haven't really talked about is just, um, I might not look hard, but staying on the track is a lot tougher than one would think. Especially this one, because you're constantly dodging attacks, and you're also jumping to dodge attacks a lot, too, when you're jumping around the corners. Yeah, it's a uh, pretty good. Cool. Damn, I lost. <laughs> that was very close. That was only a couple hits away. Um, so no one CC because he got me. Uh, that was, I bet yeah, I only had like five or six hits left there. Oh, that's a shame. All right, we'll give it another go. Um, but yeah, that was I was in a really good position there. I just was not dodging any uh, any of those yellow attacks. I just kept getting hit. That's a shame. What was my time? What's my time at right now? By the way, just like curiosity. We're around like. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I wasn't gonna get that good. <laughs> so I don't feel that bad. Um, yeah, the record is 34-10, and it's obviously a 1cc. Um, so if I had uh, finished there, it wouldn't have been record, which, you know, that's okay. That's all right. We'll uh, see if we can get him this trip. My health situation here is substantially worse than the last attempt, but uh, I don't know who knows, maybe this is the one. Also killed him way later than me. There we go. And time. GG. So it's like a, what, a mid-38 or something? Probably. Uh, about. Yeah. That guy's about three minutes, if memory serves. It's been, I haven't run this game in a while, so <laughs> it's been a while. Hey, it was pretty good. We were almost on the 1cc right until the... Uh, yeah, I was like five or six end. hits away from 1cc on the boss there, which is, which is a shame. That would have been really sick if I pulled that off, but... Uh, Still a very good run regardless. Um, and then, one of my favorite parts about this game, the fact that the credits immediately start with a typo, and they spell executive wrong, uh, which is just very funny. It's also like that in the manual, which is also very funny. Um, they tried. Yeah, they, they did try. Uh, 
As someone, I saw someone ask, did this game ever get localized? No, it did not. It also did not get released, re-released digitally, um, which has kind of contributed to the obscurity of it. You can only get, the only way to officially play the game is to buy an original PS1 copy. Um, and this is not a cheap game, um, but if you thought the game was cool, uh, maybe it's uh, maybe it's worth making the plunge on it. Um, and if you guys are interested in learning this, um, there isn't really a Discord for it since it's like like I'm I, like I've done a few runs and then Nick Dyson has run this on occasion. Um, but if you're interested, just uh, shoot me a DM on something, and uh, I can help you get set up and. Uh, give you some pointers. Uh, my general pointer is going to be just don't die. Uh, press square a lot. Uh, press X a fair amount. And uh, practice a lot. Those are my, those are my basic tips. Um, GG. But yeah, that's uh, that's about it. Uh, thanks for having me. I love busting this game out because it's obviously not very well known. Um, and it's fun to, I, I like playing stuff like this. Um, if, you know, when I stream, which hasn't been that often lately, because I've been really busy with work, uh, it's random nonsense like this. Um, so if you like random nonsense like this, uh, swing on by. And uh, as the game tells you here, have a nice day. I think that's a perfect message to go out on right there. Have a nice day with some doggos. Um, so if you guys enjoyed that, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did and want to run the game, shoot me a DM. Thanks for watching, and uh, I believe we got one more run coming up, so uh, stick around yeah, for that. You. Uh, thank you once again. If anyone does want to watch more, uh, either this game or a lot of other uh, classic, let's say, PlayStation 1 and 2 games, you can check out uh, Joaster98 at the, uh, the channel in the title, I believe. Well, here's the box art, by the way. It's very cool. Uh, very yeah. very cool box set. All right, thank you once again. Uh, we have one more game for you all, so don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with Siren. And we are back from the break. Hopefully, you've been enjoying the game so far. A lot of these games have been a lot of fun, and we do have one more for you to wrap things up tonight. And this one might be one of the weirder games that you've seen. Uh, a lot of people might know about this, you might not, uh, but definitely this is one of those games that is going to be a bit wild if you're aware of what's going on. Uh, just kind of give a little bit of a prelude, Siren is a PS2 game that is very, um, let's just say, vague on what you're supposed to do. A lot of people play the game casually, always going to use game facts, and the game was intended for you to use like online message boards to beat it, uh, just because it was very confusing. Uh, anyway, we have a speedrun light coming up, so it's going to kind of trivialize everything I just said. Uh, here is Siren Any% percent with Casual Speedrun. Take it away. All right. Hello, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. It's been a very nice speedruns from the crypt tonight. I am Casual Speedrun here with Siren Any% percent. And we don't fight the final boss in Any% percent. We actually just kind of get the bad ending of the game where a little girl escapes back into the real world from the underworld, uh, condemning everybody else to die. So with that being said, let's... Uh, Let's get it on. Let's let's start from the main menu. Time will start on new game. Now, Siren is a classic PS2 horror game. Again, some of you may have played it, some of you won't. And what 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 what's going on with my game? What what is this? No, I'm just kidding. This this is supposed to happen. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yes, if you have played it, you will know that Siren is notorious for challenge. Just like Ictysis said, uh, the speedrun kind of nullifies and invalidates all of that challenge as we basically just skip everything. Thank you. Do you, do you guys like you guys like the you guys like the look? I'm actually cosplaying as one of my favorite uh, characters from the game, Timon Takeuchi, the professor, the folklorist. Every good Japanese horror game needs a folklorist, right? All right. Time starts on new game. Three, two, one, let's siren. Now, I'm gonna have to skip all of the beautiful cinematic cutscenes of the game. It's a shame, but we gotta go fast, right? First things first, we got the tutorial level and we are thrust into the underworld. This level basically just teaches you how to press the triangle button in order to activate a menu. Stuff like this, actions like opening a door right here, you just press circle. 
but things like this, picking up an item, uh, gotta press triangle first. Now, same thing here, triangle, triangle menu, action menu, whatever you want to call it. And we get inside of the truck to run this guy over, this guy who's pursuing us. Again, just like, again, like Ictis has said, we, we basically are just rushing through everything here. You'll still get to see some really cool parts of the game. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll try my best to show it off as much as is possible. And that's the tutorial level done. There's actually two tutorial levels, though, for those of you who know. There are actually two tutorial levels. First one is that one back there. Second one, we've actually got a tutorial on the unique mechanic of the game. Hey, what's up, Pazuzu? Thanks for the good luck, everybody. I'm seeing so many familiar faces in chat right now. So many familiar names. This lady right here is, in Japanese, explaining how the sight jack mechanic of the game works. Oh yeah, this is a great video game. That is the unique mechanic, TV static. No, I'm just kidding. You see through the eyes of friendly uh, and enemy NPCs, and that's basically your number one way of protecting yourself. And as she's explaining right now, you have to protect yourself because they are no longer human. Spooky, right? Now, we also use it in an unintended way, this sight jack. Now, right there, this is a tutorial, so the game wants you to mash a bunch of text in order to get through the tutorial. However, we just skip that by entering the sight jack. Now, you'll notice that everything continues while you're in the sight jack. The river keeps flowing, she keeps chatting, saying her stuff. Enemies continue moving on their patrols. Everything continues. But the text does not show up. She turns around. We were supposed to get another text, but we don't. We skip it with the sight jack because we want to go fast. Isn't it neat? I always thought that was one of the... It's, it's really simple, and it's obviously only right here. We don't really use it anywhere else. Wait for her. Ladies first. Now again, the game is basically still teaching you how to play. Siren is a very, very difficult, very convoluted game. The mechanics are overall pretty simple. Game is going to teach us how to crouch walk. All right, guys, stretch those legs. Let's get those thighs burning. Come on, gamers, get out of those gamer chairs and, and duck walk with me. Just kidding. I, I'm, I'm still seated. I'm still seated nice and comfy. So I'll explain the plot a little bit later uh, when we've got some easy levels that are coming up pretty soon. She's going to... <laughs> the, the plot. The plot is very difficult to explain. You, you basically got to play it to understand. Say your line. Ooh, I was just a little bit too slow. We're mashing through text. That's okay. There's a good example right there. So you see, she everything pauses. The fog stops moving. Enemies stop moving. You can't move. That's what you get. Uh, when you're, when you have to look at the text. So we obviously want to skip that. Skip one more right here. There's actually a chance that this crashes the game for some reason. I'm not totally sure why. I don't think anyone really knows. But there is a chance of a game crash right here for some reason. Now, we actually let her push us out of this level with one last sight track. Saves about two seconds. Uh, you can't leave without her normally, but the game can't show you the text telling you you can't leave if you're in the sight jack, so if you just ignore it, it doesn't exist. And just like that, we're done with the tutorials. Now the game trusts you enough to go straight into the hard stuff. It gives you a gun. The game gives you a gun, a weapon for the first time in the game. We're not going to use it. We're actually just going to take some intentional. I swear, it is intentional. Most of the time you see me get damaged, it will be intentional. I promise. Okay, wait for him to spot us, call our companion back there. And it looks like we got it. Okay, the sniper, we can tank a shot to the face, so we do. Our companion behind us cannot. We tank the shot to the face so that she doesn't have to. That way we're able to just run straight through the level, which normally takes like five minutes to complete. Easy. And this is my guy, Timon Takeuchi, and right here, best girl. I will not have any Yoriko slander in this chat. I'm not a mod or anything, but... Somebody who is a mod, ban, ban them. Ban them if, if they slander my best girl. Yes, exactly. We just get, uh, we get the bad ending. The any percent ending. Harumi escapes. Spoiler alert, guys. Harumi is the, on the little girl. She is the only one who is able to escape back into the real world. Bummer. But in the bad ending, the any percent ending, she actually has nowhere to escape to. 
And that brings me to the plot of the game. You see, that lady who was helping us on the tutorial level, her name is Hisako, and she might seem like a good guy. She was helping us out. Okay, forward stagger, no big deal. You usually get shot there, no worries. Yeah, you, you basically just tank, you tank a lot of damage in this run, intentionally. Uh, so essentially, Hisako looks like she's helping you, but in fact, she's just trying to manipulate all of the characters of the game to be in exactly the right position for the end game, the ritual. See, this village was dragged into the underworld because of a ritual that took place, what is it, 1300 years ago? Where, a, long story short, an alien god falls to the earth, the villagers are starving, so they just start ripping into it, eating it, they eat the really bad sushi. His name is Datatsushi, but we, you know, he's Daddy Sushi, as Ectisis calls him. Uh, they eat the bad sushi, and they and the rest of that village are cursed forever. All the villagers who eat it die, except for one. Her name is Hisako. And the ritual fails because this girl, her name is Miyako, escapes with her life. She was supposed to be sacrificed. Yeah, the bad sushi. Now, surely you've heard Resident Evil 4 and 5 speedrunners and all kinds of speedrunners complaining about their respective escort missions. They've got nothing on Miyako. You see, Sheva, for goodness sake, Sheva shoots back. Ashley Graham can turn cranks for you and stuff. Wait for the drop down. Miyako here is blind. Blind. The only thing Miyako is good at is killing your runs. And believe me, she's really good. She's the goat. She's the run murder goat. Greatest of all time. That being said, we are kind of listening for her footsteps back there. Because if you get too far away, I, I kid you not, she will sit down. She will yell at me. She will yell at me. Hey, I can't see. Turn around and look at me. Something like that and refuse to follow you any further. Hilarious, hilarious. We love Miyako. She's being okay right now, although she was very slow at the very beginning. Not sure what was up with that. She kind of just looked at me when I climbed the first cliff. It happens. There's a little bit of RNG as to what she does. Oh yeah, we're playing the cutscene, 100%. We've got a nice, nice beefy estimate here. So we're playing the cutscene, 100%. Let's see, get her right here. Come on. Okay, we just don't want her to drop down there. It's really slow. Okay, we're coming up on our first combat of the game right here. Don't worry, Miyako, I'll save you. Ha! Die! Die! He's dead. Okay, there's a chance we can skip this lady. I'll go for it if we can. If, she, if she's anywhere close, I won't, I won't take the risk. Uh, we are on hotfix after all. No reason. We're not going for PB right now. Oh, Miyako is too slow. Looks like we are killing the lady. Come here, lady. Come here. Oh, she put the smack down on me. Come here. Oh, I whiffed again. Come here. <laughs> so she exactly, that's exactly right, Lily. She sight jacks too. I was just going to say that. Miyako is able to see you because of the sight jack. She looks through your eyes at where you're going. If you're doing the level right, you technically don't need to look at her at all. That's when you're doing it perfect. However, I was just one step ahead. You see, it's sometimes she kind of just pauses in places where you wouldn't expect. She was following me just fine and then randomly decided to just chill. That's Miyako. That's just how she works. That's just how it, how it goes. This is the prequel to Siren. Well, kind of. See, the, the plot of the first, of all three Siren games are not, ah, Come on, Miyako. The plot of the three Siren games aren't 100% connected. It's, uh, it's dubious. See me after the stream. Message me on Discord or something, and we can talk specifics. But it's it's that's going way beyond the scope of this one hour long run. The explanation, the, it's, the, it, yeah, that's going way beyond the scope. So we wait four seconds here. We are now playing as Rifle Grandpa, one of my favorite characters. His name is Akira Shimura, but we'll call him Rifle Grandpa because that's what he is. Number one. Now we wait four seconds there because cruel level design. There is a sniper looking into this tunnel at the end of the t at the other side of this uh, area on top of a building. It's very cruel. Now we're going to introduce a little piece of speed tech right here. This guy is going to yell at me instead of hitting me. Isn't that interesting? But casual, why would he do that? I'll tell you why. 
You see, enemies, once you've been sighted, enemies will actually take five or six steps towards you before they just decide, ah, whatever, he's out of range, and they just yell. Okay, I'm going to bait the shot here. Oh, that was lucky. <laughs> he actually knocked us out of the way. Okay. A little slow because of that, but no big deal. Ooh, we might die here. We might eat a death. Ah, that's a bummer. Oh, well. That's okay. So the I'm actually playing with an Xbox One controller. I'll blame it on that. We're, we're playing with an Xbox One controller right here. Uh, so it's even harder than normal, but the rifle controls in this game are notoriously bad. No big deal. Like I said, we got a nice beefy estimate. This is a pretty, a pretty challenging level. So we'll just do that all over again. Like I said, enemy sniper down at the end here. We just wait four seconds and hoof it. The guy is going to yell when we drop down. Again, they take five or six steps, and then they just decide, well, we're out of the way. <laughs> he's, he's not close enough. I'm just going to yell. Ooh, he actually swung. Rare one. That hasn't happened in a while. All right. So we're just going to let this guy shoot at us anyway. OK, we take off. Ooh, he's still in the... Ooh, this is bad. I'm going to have to chance it. We got shot again. Ah, that was bad. I didn't know that would happen if we got hit. That's okay. Again, risky, risky level. Uncommonly bad luck. No big deal. The first one we can chop, chop, chalk up as a mistake. That one, I'm not completely sure why the sniper saw me so fast. Maybe it's because we got hit and the timing was off. That must be it. Also, yes, by the way, fun fact. Uh, Siren and Silent, the first, what is it, two Silent Hill games? Or is it just the first Silent Hill game? We're actually made by the same team that made Siren, just FYI. Hey, what up, MJ? It is unfortunate. That's okay. The rest of the run's gonna go perfect. Right, guys? Yeah, that's what he's supposed to do. I'm actually not sure why he yelled at all. It seems like I did everything the same. I must have been a little too fast. All right, we're gonna wait here. Ooh, he saw us. That's... This... What? I can't believe what is happening right now. I... This has never happened before. What's the reason for J Japanese over English? Well, see, there's not that much of a difference. Basically, the only difference is you're doing triangle to circle instead of triangle to X, which is a little bit bad, or a little bit uh, faster. Yeah, seriously, we're getting all the bad luck right up front. No big deal, we just do it again. I can't believe he saw me, oh buddy. Yeah, yeah, get your ha-has out of the way, guys. Marathon luck, that's what this is. Okay, I'm actually just gonna sight jack, oh. I cannot believe it, he saw me again. You've got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. Oh my word, buddy. Okay, I'm actually gonna just invoke a uh, safety strat right here. For some reason, I've forgotten how to play the game between me doing two runs earlier and now. Somehow I've forgotten how to play the game. So we're just going to invoke the safety strat here. It's okay. All built into the estimate. It's intentional. It's intentional. It's DA manipulation, guys. <laughs> so here's what we're going to do. I'm actually just going to go super go-go Rambo style and just shoot everybody. I know, right? Like, Oz and a, a few others were actually here watching me run in my stream. Just, okay, I'm not able to aim down for some reason. What the heck? My analog stick is, is broken. I don't understand. My analog stick is literally broken right now. Whoa. Okay. Um, my controller has stopped working. What the heck? Okay. Technical difficulties, guys. Sorry. Of course. We get great runs off. <laughs> got a good run offline. Got two more on my stream, and now this is happening. Very funny. It's the marathon Very, very luck. funny. It is. All right. We can do this. I'm not sure what happened with my controller just now, but it literally just, like, stopped accepting my inputs. All right. We got this. We can do this. No big deal. All right. I'm going to go for the original again, but I'm going to just shoot the two guys on the ground, or at least the front guy, this guy here. He keeps ruining it for us, so I'm just going to shoot him. Oh, 
Oh, I'm not able. What the heck? My analog stick again, dude. Okay, there we go. I'm not sure what just happened, but yeah, we. Oh, I, dude, my analog stick. Whoa. No, 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 no. Don't. Okay, there's actually something wrong with my analog stick right now. I may have to pull a fast one here. Where is my PS4 controller, my DualShock 4? I may actually not be able to compl I'm not sure what's happening. It was working just fine. I literally just did two runs. Uh, we can take a moment if you need it. <sighs> my DualShock 4 is back there, but it has a problem staying connected. I'm not... I, I honestly... I really don't understand really what's quick. going on Have with Have you tried unplugging and replugging it? I did earlier when I lost control of it at first. Um, sorry again, guys. I can't believe this is all happening right now. This is insane. I've, I've, I mean, it's pretty rare that you have anything go wrong on this level. Okay, there we go. I've got control of it. I'll bait the shot for safety. Okay. All right. Hopefully that's the end of our worries right there. Let me control my analog stick, please. Oh, please, gaming gods. Okay, there we go. All right, thank goodness. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. We had a little bit of a uh, uh, difficulties, but we are moving on. All right, now we get this door open and we can move on from this cursed level. All right, and that's Rifle Grandpa. All right. I know, I know. I just want to put on the best show possible, you know? Anyway, we are now finally done with this level. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, buddy. I, you guys are being so nice to me. Thank you. You guys are being so kind, so generous. All right, I am actually going to unplug and replug my controller right now during this load. I don't. I actually don't use my analog stick. Uh, I use my D pads for running. Okay. Now on this level, we're going to count to four, and then get just a casual speed run. He said it. He's done it, guys. Just a casual speed run here. Now we're going to count to four, and you guessed it. We're going to take the fifth shot straight to the dome ski. All right. Okay. I thought for a second he wasn't going to fire. Oop. Oh, that, okay, that's how you know my analog stick is being weird, because I'm not able to just stay. Unfortunate. All right, get shot in the face. Hopefully Tomoko follows us. Yeah, there she is. Good job, Tomoko. You've done it. All right. And just like that, we're done with this level. Easy clappers. Oh, no, we got separated. Oh, no. Yeah, IRL inventory management. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, it does look like Harry Potter, doesn't he, Floyd? You do be looking kind of like Harry Potter. All right. And just like that, we are done with the, fir the first loop. Siren's just one of those speed runs where the punishment for failure is not at all proportioned with the actual mistake. <laughs> Does it sound like a vine boom? <laughs> it, the, the, failure you, the punishment for failure is not at all proportional to the mistake. Little, little, tiny, tiny errors cost you your run, basically. So we yell, which causes her to yell, which causes this lady to take off running. And then when we see her, she's going to yell. And then we use another little shout mechanic that I haven't introduced yet. I'm actually going to yell to get her attention. Come here. She's running. Come here. Okay. We run past her, and now we're actually going to use our own shout mechanic to push this guy out of the way. Here's how that works. It's a little risky, so it might not work. Ah, we didn't get it. That's okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to... No, we can get it. We can get it. All right, let's shout. This is what you get for practicing. See, the real strat is you don't practice. You do it completely cold, and then you will PB. Little, little secret recipe for you guys. Okay, wait for her to yell. Madam Shovel, very creative name right there. And hopefully we can get right around this guy. Come on, let me through. 
we're a little close. He might shoot us. No, we're good. Okay. Now, I'm going to go for the safety here because I'm not willing to take the chance. We're just going to let this guy... The game, if you reset checkpoint there, the game kind of just decides, well, there's no possible way they could be this far along without the weapon. So we're actually just going to let him shoot five times. Three. Every rifle has five. Every pistol has six. And that's five. Excuse me. Ooh, he's kind of in our way still. I'm going to hit him again. What the... Hello? Huh? I wasn't able to move for. Okay, yeah, this controller is sus. Oh, I really wish it would have sussed out on me earlier, honestly, so I wouldn't have to deal with this right now. That's unfortunate. Oh, well, we do it again. And I would switch to my Jewel Shock 4, but the problem is it's actually worse. It literally, like, just loses connection. It's just uncanny that it's happening right here. Okay. Again, I'm not taking any chances. Putting the smackdown on the guy, and now we leave. Okay. Hey, what up, Chezzy? Thanks, buddy. I appreciate you. The makeup is in my eyes. Don't worry. It's 100% in my eyeballs. I can feel it stinging. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to count to five. Risa actually cannot tank any shots. So we're just going to do a little peekaboo here. One, two, three, four, five. And then we push him out of the way as well. There we go. Is there a third option? No, unfortunately not. This was the other option, and now it's, it's giving me a problem that it didn't give me earlier, unfortunately. The trick is they just should have made DualShock 4 controllers that were wired, like, to begin with, that are actually, like, mandatory wired. Yeah, is what it is. We'll just do our best, right, guys? That's all you can do in life sometimes is do your absolute best. Oh, I've lost control. Man, why didn't this just happen earlier? I, re I really do wish this could have just happened to me earlier, because now I'm, like, losing control of the... Hello? Okay. This is... This ain't good. It's, like, randomly taking away control and then giving it back. So we're, we're fighting some IRL RNG right now, guys. We have... Guys, I think I'm actually here. I think I'm actually in the underworld right now. This is what we do. We fight back. Yeah! We don't just accept our fates. We fight back! Never say die. Never say die, gamers. I think I have actually been brought down into the PS... Into the, oh, uh, a PS2 controller? I'm actually playing on this on PS3. Yeah, we're doing our best. That's all you can do sometimes in life, guys. Take a lesson here. It's, chips are stacked against you. Who cares? Do your best. Whether everyone's for you or against you, you do your best. Always your best. I'm going to call Risa to me. Oh, I've lost control. Oh, jeez. Come on now, don't do that. Okay, well I've taken damage, so we have to do the risky strat here. It is this, it, it, it's funny this is happening during a run of Siren. I can't think of a more fitting game for this to happen during. I wish it wasn't, but <laughs> what can you do? You just, you gotta do your best, right? I can't afford to lose my head here. Okay, he shot there. Okay, we should be good to continue. Come on, Risa. Risa, what the? Uh. Okay, we're good. That was weird. She was like hesitating for. Some... Yeah, DDR pad. Maybe that's the strat, man. The Shibita will honestly just have pity on me. They'll just be like, man, look at what this guy's running with. Okay, yeah. See that? That's how you know my analog stick is all messed up because it won't even let me like stay steady on one enemy. Unfortunate, but we're hey. You know what? I like a good challenge. We're running against we're running against some IRL RNG right here. Thankfully, we're last run of the night, so I'm not gonna. Hopefully, act, uh, sorry, Ek. I, I hope you don't mind staying up a little late. Oopsie. <laughs> sorry, guys. All right. Let me unplug it from this side and and plug it back in because maybe that'll do something. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, maybe I should do a guitar hero guitar. All right, we're back to Rifle Grandpa, so pray for me, guys. Pray for me in the chat. Oh, buddy. I really hope I... Please. Uh, oh, gamer gods, join us in this holy prayer. Give us this day our daily speed run. Letteth not my analog stick go completely bonkers. Let me have control of my controller as those who try to control... Ah, whatever, forget it. <laughs> okay. Now we actually want to shoot these guys on mission two. We shout there. Oh, I did it a little too early. That's okay. I'm going to bait the shot here again. Thankfully, we've got control of our analog stick this time, guys, so we're, we're able to cruise on through. Thank goodness. Okay. Oop. Maybe I spoke too soon. Okay, so what that does, I didn't really get to show it off much, but what that does, uh, the, the shouting right there, it takes forever for Rifle Grandpa to put the rifle back up on his shoulder. If you shout there, it actually cancels the animation so that he puts it back on there immediately. I really should start sacrificing an animal before I do these marathon runs. Although Siren, Siren never goes bad for me in a marathon. It's my other main speed game that has like the most cursed marathon results. This is the first time I've ever had bad luck at a, at a marathon because, well, I mean, can you call this bad luck? My controller's literally like just got a mind of its own, man. Okay, he's looking at us, so we're actually gonna have to run off to the right here instead of going straight down the corridor. I'll even pause a second for good measure. Give us this day our self-worth. Careful, guys. That's a slippery slope, basing your self-worth on your speed game. Oh, he might actually hit us. Oh, that was so lucky. I don't know if you can see how much it's jittering. That is not normal. My analog stick is, like, borderline non-functional right now. I'm playing with my D-pad, which is what I normally do. I, play with, I like to play with D-pad. On PS2, I used to play analog stick because I like the feeling of a PS2 analog stick. I really don't like the feeling of a DualShock 3 or 4 analog stick. I don't like it. The sensitivity too high, I think. There's not enough resistance on it, you know? Yeah. Blood might get... Hey, maybe... I don't think that's what it is. I'm very careful not to get makeup in it, but maybe makeup got in the controller. No, that would have happened. That would have happened already. The con yeah, the con this controller ate food cooked in the underworld and is clearly trapped there. Thankfully, we no longer whew, we no longer have any rifle levels, so thank goodness we can now just uh, rely on good old-fashioned D-pad gaming. But I, I don't know if you guys could see how much it was jittering. Yeah, I'm not kidding when I tell you that this, this controller is extraordinarily sus. But I wasn't using this. I was actually playing on emulator last night when I was practicing. It was fine. It's just, it's hard to control the normal. Okay, so it's always hard to control, as Mary's pointing out. It is always hard to control. This is not that. What I'm dealing with right now is not normal. I, okay, let me put it this way. I get stuck on some levels. Okay, that's her regening stamina, by the way. Stamina management, very important. Let's see if we can get this. Okay. That looked pretty good. Now let's acquire that bag. Yes, we got it. Thank you for shouting me out. I promise this this is not part of the standard uh, siren speedrun experience. I'm actually, I, I guess I'm just going to have to buy myself. I don't think they make DualShock 4s that are wired, do they? Hmm. I may have to look into that. This was working all day today, but it seems to be done with that. It seems to be over working correctly. Okay, we're going to give it three good full buzzes here. Let's go. Now what's happening here is our exit route is being cleared of a sniper who will 100% kill you <laughs> if you don't get him out of the way. Okay, he's out of the way. Let's go. Technically, you don't have to wait at all. But uh, for safety, we're going to wait. Oh, no, I'm not playing on emulator right now. I, I only played on emulator last night as practice so that I could, like, do safe states and go back to the same part without playing the whole level again. That's the only thing I really like emulator for. I don't really like running on emulator. It will randomly just, like, lag and uh, occasionally. I, I am using a wire for my DualShock 4s. It just, it just randomly disconnects, so. From that submarine. What are you talking about? My man's speaking in tongues. Oz... What are you talking about, bro? 
Here's where I would start. And if this was my own chat, I would start a prediction on the fortune of the sh of the shrine. There's something called omikuji here, which is a paper fortune frequently found at shrines in Japan. Obviously, I'm not a mod, can't start a prediction, but would it be good or would it be bad? It is random. It is literally a coin toss. You're not going to ruin the run by hoping it's good or hoping it's bad. One shot. Come on. Yes, we got the one shot. Okay, we sight jack this lady. The objective of the level is to kill her. And for some reason, if you sight jack her, she kind of just chills. It, don't ask me why. <laughs> it changes her behavior if you sight jack her. Again, no idea why. It just does. The Logitech controller. I mean, I've got some kind of sussery going on. I would take anything, bro. I'll take anything over this. Whoa, wide turn. Okay, I'm losing. It's like losing control a little bit again. Oh, buddy, why now? Why couldn't this have happened earlier? Or not at all. That'd be a spe Hello? Run, dude, run. It'd be a real special treat if this wouldn't happen. At okay, okay. All right, dude. Okay. <laughs> okay. Do you see, it's literally just ri <sighs> Oh man, why now? Why has it gotta happen now? Oh, we almost got the funny glitch. If you time it just right, you actually fall through this rock. It, it doesn't like kill a run or anything. You, you just climb up again. We were like a frame off from getting it. You don't want it, but it's fine if you get it. All right, now we shoot the brain, die. Now let's hit the gritty. I am a mod of this game. If you submit a run where you're not hitting the gritty here, I will reject it. Fair warning, you have been warned. <laughs> I get, well, I, maybe, I'm not, I'm not sure what's going on, because it never had an issue before now. It, I did, again, I did two runs before, I even raided this channel right here, I raided GDQ at the end of my, my practice runs. I did two runs, and it was fine, I didn't have a single issue. It's anyone's guess what's going on right now. I think the I think the game has actually escaped out of my PS3 and is now infecting the real world. Legit. I think that's just as likely as anything else. Okay, we're gonna first try. Okay, good. So what just happened right there is we kind of stick ourselves in a weird spot. We let that branch poke, poke through us, and then you just one-shot the sniper. Easy. Instead of doing like a five-minute level. Easy clappers. And now we're climbing to the top of this fire tower where we are going to hear an in-school announcement from the local elementary school. I'll skip the cutscene, of course. Take my word for it. That's what happens. Midi fighter, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let, me, let me just stop using a conventional controller entirely. Any other controllers? I do actually genuinely want to hear them. But we've got a really, really challenging level casually coming up. It's pretty difficult in the speed run as well, especially in 100%. Very, very hard. Yo, what up, Anaphase? Yes, welcome to the underworld. So what's going on here is we are playing as teacher extraordinaire Reiko Takato as she attempts to escape from the school and help her little student Harumi Yomoda do the same. Harumi, as I mentioned earlier, is the only one, spoiler alert, Harumi is the only one who is able to escape out of this underworld and go back to the real world. In the 100% ending, you confirm with a newspaper article that she has in fact returned to the real world. We reset checkpoint there so we can reset our health and our stamina and this guy doesn't have to reload his gun. We actually want him to shoot us. Go ahead, shoot me. <laughs> go ahead, shoot me. We want him to shoot us, I promise. The RE4 Chainsaw Controller. Okay, you win. Okabe Capcom, you win. You. He's done it. They've done it. That's the one. The RE4 Chainsaw Controller. Oh, boy. One of my friends had those, or one of those, actually. Skip a little cutscene, and then we're going to fight the principal. Tool Pa. I'm not sure what that is. Do tell. Okay, we fight the principal. Easy clappers. Now we've got what I would call a major RNG event on our hands. Harumi, the little girl, will teleport to one of two different locations. She's either in the toilet, which is good. Let's see some toilet praise in the chat. Toilet pray, toilet pray. She's either in the toilet, which is good, or she's in the library, which is bad. 
Ooh, the Shibitu, the hallway guy is in the in the toilet. Looks like she's upstairs in the library. That's unfortunate. We just lose a minute straight up. Nothing you can do about it. Totally random. 100% random RNG. Random number generation. How scary is this game? I would say very scary. Maybe 7 out of 10. It's pretty scary because the game does a really good job of immersing you. The soundscape is really, really good and really effective. And again, it's, it's made by the same people as uh, Silent Hill. It does not have the music that Silent Hill has, though. I, I, prefer, I love Silent Hill. I loved the Silent Hill games. Um, but I do actually prefer Siren's soundscape. I prefer most things about Siren to BH. What the? Whoa, he's really slow. Come here, bud. This guy's unique for a few reasons. He does not yell most of the time when he's chasing you, as you just saw. And also, he can put on the jets. He can randomly turbo, actually. That guy can literally just, like, initiate turbo rocket boosters and go, like, three times his normal speed, which is really scary casually. It's scary in the speed run, too, because it can kill your run. Uh, but uh, no, no such bad luck here. We're good. We're fine. You wish you could teleport to the toilet when you need to. All right, now, as a special treat, everybody tell me how the, the time you've been the most relieved to see a toilet. Let, let's hear some toilet stories in chat. I'm just kidding. Don't, don't do that. They'll never have me back. <laughs> Controller fiasco aside, they will never invite me back if you guys talk about your toilet times. No, no, no toilet stories. Message me on Discord. I want to hear. Okay, on this level, we're just going to take it nice and easy. Oh, yeah, exactly. The, the cutscenes are... The cutscenes are half the game, really. I mean, this. Oops, we accidentally. Oops, that's okay. We lost control there for a second. No big deal. Ah, it's frustrating that this happened, but we're gonna just do our best. You know, it's like I said. All sometimes all you can do is your best, even when the cards are stacked against you. We're doing our best, guys. And just like that, we are through this mission. Guy shoots us for breaking his uh, his life savings piggy bank. Kind of an overreaction, if you ask me. We are now moving on to <laughs> the the worst part of the run. This it's a sequence break that was found mm, about a year ago, and it absolutely ruined the any percent run. Don't let that discourage you from running it, because it actually saves so much time. This sequence break, you can fail it like fifty times, and you're still saving time over not doing it. By the way, so nice and quiet, guys. Now, loud. Okay, good. That red flash there means that he heard us but did not see us, which is what we want. That interrupts his patrol just so, so that, look, he'll be staring at us, but just out of range of being able to actually see us. That's what we want when we come back down from the stairs, because we have to come back. When we come back down the stairs, he'll be over far off in the corner where he would be right now if we hadn't interrupted him. So this way... He'll be out of our way, and we don't have to fight anyone. If you have to fight him, you basically have to fight Senor Glockman, who's in this room over to my right. It's a mess. If you have to fight, if you have to fight on this level, it's a mess. It's just the worst. You do have to fight one guy. This guy kind of just jumps up through the floor and yells surprise. Much. Do I let it play? You guys have been such. You guys have been so good, so patient, even though my controller is kind of dying. You here? Watch. watch. Surprise! <laughs> Classic. All right, get me out of here. And now we get to take another. It's not really an RNG check. You would say that jokingly as a running as, as a runner. You would say it jokingly that it's an RNG check. It really isn't. This is Madame Tabori, everybody. She has a super special power of unlocking that door for me, thereby skipping a quarter of the game. Now, all we got to do is lead her there. As they say, you can lead a horse to water, but you cannot make them drink. But we're going to do our best. We're just going to make her nice and thirsty for a drink. Okay. Now, we kind of run with our flashlight angled into the wall there. We stop in front of the door, turn our flashlight off, 180. Come on, open it. I know that look in your eyes. You want to... Yes! First try. Yes. So what's happening right now is we're actually going to skip Mission Objective 1, even though we have not done Mission Objective 1. We're completely skipping it and going straight to Mission Objective 2, therefore skipping a quarter of the game. Because the game like takes a second to calculate, uh, they're further along than we thought, so they just give it to you. Look, it sends us to a level that doesn't even exist yet. That's how broken the game is right now. It sends you to a level that doesn't even exist on your Link Navigator yet. 
I always get a big kick out of that. Also, if you try to go back to the level we just played, you can't. You, we've bo we have broken the game so bad that you actually cannot go back to that level. You cannot replay it unless you uh, activate the level again naturally. Like, play a level that goes there. So now we've basically got a, an auto-scroller here. Hey, hey, show host, good sir, Is it a, is it okay if I play some harmonica for the good people? Sure. All right. I'm going to do that. I, I, it's an original piece. I call this one, uh, I'm, I'm stuck in an auto-scroller, but I'd rather be speedrunning. Yes, that's right. That's an original piece. I call this one, I'm stuck in an auto-scroller, but I'd rather be speedrunning. Yeah, that was, uh, this is an A-flat harmonica. Big fan of the harmonica. I picked it up right before I went to Japan, because I needed something that was mobile. Yo, what up, Linksy? Good to see so many familiar names in the chat. And now the auto-scroller is over. I don't know if you guys noticed, but she's like, she's like pointing and laughing at a screen that's just static. It's just TV static, and she's just, like, cracking up. <laughs> I always gotta be... Whoa, C4 Corey, thank you for the gift sub. Thank you for the... Thank you for the subs. Holy moly. Wow. I hope that wasn't for little old me. <laughs> you guys have been a great audience. Thank you so much for being kind, bearing with me through our, uh, uh, uh technical difficulties. Okay. We pray that we keep control of the controller here. It's pretty manka. This lady stair champs at the key that we need, and then just watch this. She just starts chopping imaginary vegetables. So these these people, these Shibito, they actually don't even realize that they're dead, if you can believe that. They literally don't realize that they're dead. They just continue doing things that they did in their normal life. They don't realize that they're dead. Yeah, what are you guys talking about? Seinfeld was on. It was the... What's the best episode of Seinfeld? I like the episode of Seinfeld... Actually, I'm going to do a retry checkpoint here just to be a little safe. I like the episode of Seinfeld where they're actually pitching the idea of Seinfeld to NBC. Can you imagine being Jerry Seinfeld and pitching the idea of Seinfeld? And he's just like, oh, it's just a... It's a show about nothing. It's a show about a comedian and his friends. And they're like, and? And he's like, no, that's it. That's it. That's the show. And they're like... What? What are, you what are you talking about? Here, I'm actually going to wait a second and recharge stamina just to be safe here. Sniffle. Okay, I think we... Come on, sniffle. There we go. And then we're going to back up into the trigger cutscene. Take off running. Now let's try to get the fast skip here. This is pretty manka, but it saves a whole minute, so we basically have to go for it. I think it's a little tight. Ooh, that's pretty tight. We got it. Okay, we're good. Easy clappers. All right. This, yes, the soup episode is also pretty good. All right. That, that level's a lot harder than it looks. Little known fact about Harumi, unless you've played the game, of course, then you'll definitely know. If you're within range to get grabbed by an enemy, you die. You're dead. You just instantly die. <laughs> 
You, you literally just instantly die. There's no dodge. There's no run away. There's no argument. You just die instantly. Pretty cool, right? So now we're back in the school playing once again for mission two. Same thing, except we got to unlock a door so that Naoko, the reporter, can get in. But let's see if we get a toilet. Let's see some toilet RNG. That'd be pretty nice right about now. I'd love to see a toilet. Hmm. Let's strike that from the record. Shot me right in the head. Nice deep breath. We're good to go. Okay. Retry checkpoint. Recover our health, stamina, and make the guy uh, reload his gun automatically instead of having, like, catching him with his pants down. Because that's no good. We want him to shoot us in the head. Don't forget. Now, Harumi, you better be in the toilet. Or I'm going to open up the game files and delete you from the game. But wouldn't that be nice? Good, he shot me. Okay, that's what we want. The reason we want him to shoot is because he shoots again, and instead of following us into the gymnasium here, he actually just he just decides it like, okay, I'm just gonna be being chilling out here in the hallway, and that's that. He just he just stays out there, instead of uh, following us in here and killing us. So, oh no, not the toilet story. Okay, we're gonna fight the principal once again, but just in a minute. We're not gonna fight him just yet. Does the characters know they are looping? No, they don't. Oh, he took a swing at us. Nice. He can't hit us there. So it's it's no big deal. It's merely the illusion of danger. There's a lot of that in this run. Let me get around you. Ah, oh, she died in like the worst possible way. That's okay. He's right behind us though. So let me do this. Oop. I did not get a look at where Harumi is because my analog stick is all messed up. I, if I still beat Estimate, I'm actually going to be so thrilled. I think we, I think we might still be on pace for that. We've got a, we have a pretty lenient Estimate, so we may still beat it, uh, despite the technical difficulties we were having. Come on, put on the turbos. Uh, the one time I wanted you to go fast. Oh well. So. We'll, we get teleported down here because we killed him up there. Just wait until the next level. In the next level, that guy comes back. Should I spoil it? I'm going to spoil it. I can't contain myself. He comes back as Squidward Tentacles. And if you think I'm, I'm messing, well, I'll see you in the next level. You just wait. And when you see Squidward's beautiful face smiling at you, you'll, you'll know that casual wasn't capping. Get a little closer to me now. Yeah, we want him out of that doorway, because if he dies in the doorway, it takes forever to get around him. All right, let's see if Harumi's in here. Please, Harumi. Harumi check. Oh, we got double library. This this run really doesn't want... Ugh. Oh, we do our best. We, we do our best regardless of what, what the universe hands us. Right, guys? That's all you can do in life sometimes. Oh, my button got kind of stuck there. That's okay. Yeah, plenty of time. We got time. Come on, Harumi. Now, something funny. I'm sad I didn't get to show it off because Harumi, like, decided to teleport to the library instead of the toilet even once. But something funny that can happen... Uh, take a deep breath. If, Haru <laughs> if Harumi's in the toilet, there's, like, a 33% chance, I want to say, that she just completely ignores your existence when you open the door. Dude, this guy is making some cre... What the heck? He just stopped walking. That guy was making creature noises. What the heck? Did you guys hear that? <laughs> what were those sounds? I mean, he make he sometimes makes some sounds, but that was a new one. That was honestly a new noise right there. This has never happened before. <laughs> this run has been a lot of firsts. 50% speedrun as in only half the controller works. Yes, that's unfortunately pretty accurate. You, I swear, I swear, guys, I swear on everything that is holy and video game like. You can literally go to twitch.tv slash casual speedrun and check my, my VOD. Nothing went wrong. I don't, uh oh, my analog stick is bugging out again. Come on, aim at the guy. 
There we go, we got him. Okay, so these are Simon and Garfunkel. Now let's just see if Garfunkel's gonna be nice. Simon was okay. I missed the first shot because the analog stick would not let me aim down. But let's see how Garfunkel does. Come on, knock. An elegant lady requires a hand to get off of the ladder. Do you assist? Yes, Garfunkel. Yeah, buddy. As you may have noticed, we, we name all of the characters in this run. Uh, every Tsubito who is like notable, we give him a nice name. Speed runs six hours. It, it do take a lot of time to uh, beat Siren. Probably more than six hours, honestly. All right, now for those of you who thought I was just joking, check it out. I present to you, there he is in the flesh, Squidward Tentacles. <laughs> we don't deal with Squidward on mission one, just mission two. Okay, good, he was on the wall, that's faster. Shoot this guy, the other guy's gonna hit us on the way back, not, not a big deal. It's just how you do this level, it's the fastest way. It's actually faster than shooting him. And that's it. Now we've got this little compass tool, we're gonna use it to reach into a crack downstairs and grab a key. Of course, you can't just pick up the key, right? You have to get a tool that gets you the key. Come on, re regen stamina. Oh, I stopped like one second too early. Oh, he teleported! Somebody clip that. That, okay, so what happens sometimes is that guy literally just teleports through the wall. Any siren runners in chat? Did anyone see that? Super Ultra, are you still here? Oh my goodness, that always get it always cracks me up when that happens. I don't know if any, any Siren Runners are in the chat right now. Well, I mean, Ecdysis, right? Ecdysis, for those of you who don't know, runs Siren Blood Curse, basically Siren 3. What the? I have no words. I have no words. <laughs> okay, seriously, any Siren Runners in the chat right now? <laughs> Super Ultra, did you see that? Ooh. <laughs> This truly has been a run of complete first. I have no words for what just happened. Okay, um, how do I even explain that? So, not only is that guy usually not there, he's kind of usually just back where he first alerted us at, outside of the classroom. He, it appears to, from what I could see anyway, from where I'm sitting, it appears that he was on the wall, attacked me, <laughs> Did you see that Super Ultra? He he was on the wall, attacked me, and then, if I'm understanding this correctly, did a somersault in midair, and then, yeah, he, he he did a flip. Am am I crazy or did he do a flip? This this run is insane. I I have no words. My controller isn't working. The guy did a flip. I heard some new creature noises. This is great. This is just a bunch of firsts. He literally, did, you saw it, right? He literally did a flip. I, I've i never seen such a thing. He was right here and he just, he just flipped in midair. I, I'm gonna have to go back and clip that. That's incredible. I, the, the, I have to post that in the Discord. They have to know. The Forbidden Scrolls once spoke of this moment. Just kidding, not even the gods could have foreseen this. Die, Squidward. I'm actually gonna re- Oh, didn't mean to do that, I meant to reload. That's okay. These guys all die because we killed the brain. Um, I think we shot out all of our rounds. No, 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 we didn't. We're, we're fine, we're fine. I got all confused because I'm still thinking, this is mission two. Uh, we're picking up this book here. That's why we grabbed the library card inside of the bag earlier in the mine shaft. Throwback. Ooh, this guy's kind of right in the middle of the hall. You got the clip. Thank you, Linksy. Oh my word. <laughs> that was incredible. I I've never seen such a thing. You see some wacky stuff in this game, but yo, is that SOCOM legend JP to walk in the chat? Oh my word. This man founded a whole universe of speedrun. In the beginning, as they say in the Bible, in the in the book, in the beginning, there was nothing. And then to walk said, let there be SOCOM. And it was good. It was very good. Ooh, I'm gonna have to reload. Garfunkel is right in the way. 
This is Forbidden Siren, yes. It's called Forbidden Siren in the PAL region. We're gonna have to shoot him. Sorry, Garfunkel. Now, I think it's actually faster to push him like that. Yeah, it's faster. All right, get out of my way. <laughs> I still can't... Yo, yo, yo. Good to see you, man. Let there be so common. It was good. Now we are escaping the school. Funny little bit about this. She actually... <laughs> she acts like she's... She acts all triumphant. She's like, uh... I did it! That's what she says in that cutscene. Goes, Yatta! I did it! Ha 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 ha! And then dies five minutes later. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. That's where the title difference comes from. Uh, in in, Jap in Japan, it's just called Siren. In the U.S., it's just called si or in uh, North America, it's just called Siren. In the PAL region, Forbidden Siren. Couldn't tell you why. <laughs> they just design choice. Where are we on time? We're actually okay. Despite all the setbacks, despite the, my controller literally just like yeeting into oblivion. Uh, we will be okay. Okay, we wait for that guy to shoot at us, but not hit us. As soon as that guy stops popping off, we're safe to run. That guy's reloading. Easy clappers, please be on my left. She's on my left, let's go. Now we check point abuse. So what we're doing here is we're entering what's called the nest. You may remember this level from the tutorial of the game, actually. Well, we've come back, and we're here to, to swing. We're swinging. Yeah. We are back with a vengeance. You see, what we're doing is we're breaking into the nest. The villagers here, the Shibitu, the people, I use that term loosely. Yo, thank you for the sub. Ursorlirius. Thank you. Now, the people here, again, use the term loosely, they are building a nest for their sushi god. That's the best explanation you're going to get. They are building a nest for sushi god, and we are going to break in. We got some business to take care of. Unfortunately, breaking in ourselves is not enough. We are actually... We are actually going to have to do this twice, but with a different entrance. We are going to create an entrance for ourselves. Let me wait a second while Yoriko climbs. Okay, that should be good. Ooh, I was just, a, I was like a frame early. Oh, that's okay. So we're making an entrance for ourselves here, and then on mission two, you actually make an entrance for the little girl to enter the nest, because it turns out the only way to escape the underworld is to go straight through the belly of the beast. Straight through the nest. A Lovecraftian sort of thing. Uh, it do be dark. <laughs> it do be a pretty dark story, sure. Yeah. More influenced by very obscure Japanese folklore. All right, I'm just going to call our companion here a little... See that sniper who was just eliminated in the, in the lightning? Yeah, he's a troll. You see, he actually pretends, we're gonna bait five shots, he pretends he can't see you, I'm not kidding, to get you to step out further. Sometimes he'll pretend he can't see you. We've lost many a good run here. Oh, my controller, my controller. Oh my goodness. It literally just did not move back to the right. Okay. Oh, buddy, get me out of here. Oh my goodness, dude. This, my heart is racing right now, man. Oh, lost control. It like dashed forward, that's okay. No big deal. We didn't get the stealth attack, but man, <laughs> get me out of here. You can bet I'm going to wake up extra early and go to the, well, I guess the store won't open until 9. But tomorrow at the end of the day, I'm going to go to the game shop and buy myself a new controller because this is ridiculous. I didn't even know it, ha it would have a problem, to be fair. Oh, good. She's on the left. Okay, that's good. We're instantly going to save like 10 seconds. Okay. Easy clappers. Sushi God, that's right. He really is Daddy Sushi, as Ectisis calls him. Makeup game on point. Thank you. You guys like it? Thank you. Thank you. I hope that makes up for the controller literally just like having a mind of its own. Come here. Die. <laughs> we whiffed because he decided to yell. He just decided to pop off. I should have expected it. All right. 
Now let's run across here and hope the sniper doesn't get me or Yoriko. He kind of just pray. Oh, he didn't even see us. Oh, I spoke too soon. Come on, Yoriko. Good job. All right. We are coming up on the last level in the game, so we're about two minutes away from calling time. All right, and that's mission two. We have made the entryway for Harumi Yomura to enter. <laughs> it's act we're actually playing on a PS3, but it, it's not the it's not the console. The console's running fine. It's it's my controller, which I replaced. I used this to replace my PS4 controller that was all bugging out, and apparently this one's bugging out just as bad. So we actually just to make this guy angry, back up, and I I have people come into my stream all the time. Like I, every once in a while, I'll get a first time chat message that's just "What are you doing?" at that part, and then they're just like, "Oh." Because it looks to any any person who's played the game before, they're going to look at that and be like, you're about to get caught, you're about to get caught, you're about to get caught. Because, again, as Harumi, if an enemy is close to you... Come on, Sniffle. Okay. Uh-oh, I've lost connection of my controller. Come on now. Let's close this thing out. Come on, baby. Hello? Whoa, it's it's not plugging... Oh, my goodness, did it, did it break? Wait, no. Come on, plug in. Oh my goodness, man. Just get me out of here. Get me out of here. <laughs> oh, Lord. But anyway, as Harumi, if you're caught by an enemy, if you're caught by an enemy, you will just die instantly. So that in mind, we make that guy... Yeah, yeah. what are you doing? Oops. Okay, my controller is bugging, dude. Let's finish this thing off and get me out of here. Okay, well, let's do a little T-pose, Harumi. Everybody likes T-pose, Harumi. Get me out of here. Uh-oh, it's stuck. Oh, God. Please. Okay. There we go. Oh my goodness, man. Oh. Th this has been... Run forward, Harumi! Oh! I, this, I'm actually in the underworld right now, if you can't tell. I'm, I'm, in the, I'm in the belly of the beast right... Oh my goodness. No, 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 no. Don't kill me. Oh, my controller, dude. Please. Please. No, we're finishing this. We ain't tapping in anything. We're finishing this. We are finishing now. We got a checkpoint. It's okay. It's okay, guys. Oh, my goodness, man. I'm throwing this controller in the trash. You guys want to see me destroy it with a hammer on stream? No, I'm just kidding. I don't think they want that. Okay, Tipo Sarumi, just like before. No big deal. We just pretend nothing happened. Dude, it's, it's hot, it, right? Of all the games for this to happen during, I was even casually gaming with this offline the other day. And I did two runs on my own stream before this. Oh, buddy. Oh, well. Um, he's down. Let me see. If you restart the checkpoint, he's down there. So we actually have to wait. Okay, let's go. Now we can go. And we're pretty much home free. Yeah, we're good. All right, guys. Time is coming up in about 20 seconds. Thank goodness. The <laughs> Thank goodness we, we can actually still kind of control the controller. <laughs> And with that, Harumi escapes back into the real world, condemning everybody else to die or be stuck there forever. Time is in three, two, one, time. Oh, buddy. Oh, my goodness. GG, and you went, you went under estimates, so I mean. Thank you, yeah. Oh, my, I'm literally throwing this thing in the bin, bro. I don't think they even make wired PS4 controllers, do they? Wired DualShock 4. I'll look into that. Anyway, okay, you guys have been a really good audience. We we can watch the anime cutscene. Do we have time for that? Is that go okay, it, guys? Go for it. Go for it. Okay. Drink a little water here. Hydrate. <laughs> now, me and Ectisis might butt heads on this. I personally think that the original is better than the ending cutscene in New Translation slash Blood Curse. But I will, I will give it to Blood Curse. It's pretty cool. It's really cool that they did the throwback. Ah, the Buster. Thanks so much, guys, for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed uh, Siren Any Percent. It's a lot better with a 
functioning controller. <laughs> what is this cutscene? The best cutscene. That's what it is. Johnny America, yes. This is Johnny Japan. All right. And with that, we have finished Siren. All right. I would love to shout out Ekdysis for inviting me up here. Uh, GDQ for having me. Thanks so much, guys, for doing what you do. Getting runs out there, raising money for a good cause, putting games in front of people that they might not normally see. This game kind of flies under the radar a little bit, so I really, really appreciate it. Yeah, it's a good time. Uh, as well, if anyone wanted to find you on Twitch and watch more Siren, where can they find you? They can find me at twitch.tv slash casual speedrun. Thank you, Super Ultra. I appreciate it. Yeah, I get, 103 is not that bad, I guess, considering that my controller was literally, like, dying every other level. I'll take it. I'll take it. Out of the All way. Right. Good stuff. It's dying. Thank you once again. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for having me. I appreciate you all. Mwah. Mwah. Check out, check out Siren Speedrunning. Thanks, guys. All right. And thank you for that run. That being said, we are wrapping up the show for tonight. I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, this episode of Speedruns in the Crypt. It was a bunch of fun, difficult games. And I mean, even as things are going wrong, we still managed to get them all done, right? So I'm glad it all worked out. Uh, we'll be back in about two weeks with more spooky games uh, as well. We do have a Halloween special coming up at the October 31st, Halloween Day. So I'll be uh, running that as well. I've been your host, Dysis. Uh, hope to see you next time and have a wonderful rest of the day and or night.